Sure. That don't mean nothing. It does. Mayors and Bethel. Hey, we no, don't. We can't. Just because you don't. And we literally can't. There's a treasurer. That, yeah, but you said we're the mayor as if that that means That's something. That's the credit. That's social credit. I'm the mayor. Okay, well, until you put a social I'm credit score mayor. in. <laughs> yeah, this ain't China, though. Um, okay, well, then you can't talk about social credit. Okay. Is there one... one? I'll tell you what. All right. We'll make an under-the-table deal right now, Marla. <laughs> Okay, it okay. sounds like it's under the table for you and that, not for me. No, it does it, not sound like it's going to benefit me. No, it will. Okay. All like, right. I'm listening. Is there what? one piece of legislation you would be interested in seeing pushed at the council that would benefit you? Yes. All right. What? what? The purge. Okay, we can't do the purge. We tried. Okay, actually, well, we literally tried today, actually. Okay. Yeah, we literally tried okay, to do I the purge am, today. Uh, we need to talk about something, okay, Max? <laughs> I get it. Right that we didn't really know each other mm -hmm. back in the day. Yep. I don't know where the fuck you were when you broke out of prison, but obviously you were looking at my goddamn campaign ideas and policy because you've been yoinking and twisting every goddamn thing on there. Like what? You did the stop, the, the stop and go. You did the increased speed. You tried to push for a purge. This is my exact campaign that I ran on every single Bruh, time. Dude, listen, man. You know how many people propose stop and go? Yeah, because so of me. People. I was the first one. Go, uh, you could go back uh, in history books. It was me. When the Andy uh, Jones crime syndicate stole the election, they allowed felons to run even though they said they would not. And votes were stolen from me. And the mail-in ballots were not counted. <laughs> I won that election, and I would have changed the world. Okay? Well, I'm changing the world for you, bud. I thought Roger Wrangler also wanted to stop and go, but... Wrangler? Uh, yeah. He was a cop. He won't run for mayor. Yeah, but it was just something he wanted. Like, he Are wanted you, them to be treated as four-way stops. You're, you're not interested in anything else. We can do literally anything, Marla. Um... What, what pisses you off? Mm. Well, I mean, what what are the terms you're wanting for this under-the-table deal? To zero zero percent interest. Okay, and what sort of repayment term? Uh, we can do a larger repayment term in exchange. What do you mean? Uh, what, uh, like larger said, than I did 15 300 K. I did 300 over the course of like three to four weeks. 300 And K. you want to... Yeah, what if we did 12 K. weeks? Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, we'll, 12 weeks and no interest is crazy. We can do... Um, hold on, let me do some math. Look at you. How about this? I could do instead of 250, I do 290. 40k you spend on the paid bio packer program. We can get some runs in, huh? Make your money uh. back in no time. <laughs> we can even all do an extra 40. You both get it. Uh. No, I, 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 I prio for both of you. Look, I'm not a blue collar worker, man. I'm not. Are you about to be when you got a fucking loan to pay back. <laughs> you about to be on any type of worker if you need money. Um. How about we just do a smaller loan then, and then we can uh, keep working. What if we sell the trailer? Yeah, we, uh, well, you yeah. You guys already talked about selling the trailer, yeah. Yeah. So with the trailer, ideally we'd be at 250K right now, Ben. About, uh, assuming we can get like 150K for it. Um, and that house we were looking at the other day is about 400K, before tax. Yeah. I think I said it was going to be like 420k, 420,000, including tax. Do the math. And Turgle has some money. That house is really cool. It is cool. I really like I do it. want that house. Only, yeah, I mean, the issue, like, the money's not the issue. I got a million dollars. Um, it's more so the repayment term, because I, it's, Especially with zero interest, it's not about the, if I don't trust you to make money back. It's about I could be having my money make money. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's taking money out of my pocket. What's the, what's the low, what's, 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 what's the lowest interest rate you're willing to do? Uh, ten percent. Uh, I'm down to do the no interest, uh, but the term has to make sense. Okay. Because if I if I'm having money out there that's not making money, then it needs to come back to me pretty fucking quick. Okay. Because I, I can also lend out 300000 at 50% interest to some fucking idiot who wants a supercar. 
How do you even I'm collect them? I'm making on like $91,000 a week. Uh, I don't lend to people I can't collect on, but uh, it would be repossessing the vehicle and then either selling it or auctioning it off. Hmm. I don't do unsecured loans where people just want cash in hand. I do loans for vehicles or property. Yeah, I, I guarantee that uh, my wife and I can eventually. I, I, we just gotta figure out uh, how much we need. Or right you now. would you would most likely want to pay it, because if not, that house. Yup. Yeah. That's what a mortgage is. Um, it's it's the payment time. Like a month is already longer than I would like to have my money back. A month is like the max I usually try time. to do. It's a long time. Yeah. So a month is usually the longest I like to go out. Okay, so a month. Um, probably need about 300k if I'm being realistic. Okay. Well, after we got our thing, Max, I just did like quick math, all yeah. right? And if I stop giving, if we stop giving away money, my income from chief of staff is like $91,000 a week. So debt to oh. income wise, we could probably pay this back fairly quick. Yeah. Uh, if, you know, if you worked more, definitely could pay it back quicker. Yeah. <laughs> what legislation were you most proud of? Um, Police Continuity Act to give me, to give the mayor's office, uh, uh, boring. That was your baby. Man, it was good. Ugh. Adoption fraud, another good one. Okay. I'm most proud of the no marriage act. You revert adoption Can... fraud. What'd you say? What? No interest, you revert adoption fraud. Can't do that. I mean, I can't. No, because that, that was like one of the main things I ran on. I would look like an idiot if I did that. You would look like an idiot who owns a nice fucking home, is what you'd look like. I don't care about the home at the end of the day. That's kind of like just nice stuff for my wife and I. You know, we'll live in a trailer and be happy. Mm -hmm. I'm still spitballing. I'm proud of the marriage act. I've won in spousal privilege for a really, 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 really long time. And now we got it. I'm so excited. Yo, chill. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Um. I wish that house was for sale. That one right there, the stone one. The one of forward and to left? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Agree. It's a great location. Right next to the convenience store. Hey, we live next to a convenience store. I know, but this one's on the sea. Uh, under the sea! I used to live in Sandy. And I flipped my trailer. Uh, where do you live now? The sewers. No, you fucking Wow. Know. <laughs> do you actually look, live look in the sewers? Up. See what property I got. I live in the sewers. Bro, you don't own oh, any po properties. <laughs> yeah, and I have a dog shit car. What are you saving your money for? Are you trying to be like a gang boss? No, I am a dream creator, Max. I help those in need accomplish their dreams. You got a dream to have a house? I got a dream to collect on interest for the next however long and then repossess your house. <laughs> wow, you're the actual slumlord. Sorry. Yeah, I've been there, done that for years. <laughs> you know what? Uh, the council all worried about Mr. K should have been worried about Marlo. <laughs> sure. Look, I Long am such. willing to help you accomplish your dream as long as you are willing to work for that dream. Once you stop working for it, I don't give a fuck. Yep. You told me you were going to pay me, and you told me if you didn't pay Plus me, I can have this man. I'm That's pretty sure he already has three prior. That's what the contract does. If you don't want to lose your house, pay your goddamn bills. He's got good enough prior. I mean, that's fair. Marlo, how did you feel about all the repossessions Oops. and foreclosures in 2008? Do you wish it was you doing it? Yeah, huh? no, I, I, I oh dream about it. Oh like my god. Like, if I could have a time machine, you know what I mean? He was banned back in the day? All right, yeah, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta lower it. I can't raise you know, that. You know, I, uh, I didn't believe you when you said you were a it's sociopath not my call. earlier, and I'm starting to believe you. Not me, call. No, that was a joke. I don't do any of this stuff. I'm broke. 
I actually can't give you a bone. I... Didn't you just open the casino? Wait, you uh, open? No, it's not mine. Who's, who's is it? Uh, Marty Banks? Uh, it's you not going to be Marty's for long. Marty just got a felony yesterday. Really? Uh, mine? Yeah. Uh, actually, the CEO is um, Max Angel. Mm, I thought he was trying to be the CEO of the liquid library. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know anything about that. I, I know he is the CEO of uh, the 404 Casino, and I am the CFO. Do we have any restrictions on how many businesses people can own? No, we should legislate that. Yeah. Why? That is kind of, Max, that's kind of anti-capitalist. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Do we want to regulate and be socialist. like that? Do we want to be... Look at well, the, 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 the ideas. The problem here, okay, is that someone can have a business license on their MDT profile, and then they'll, uh, they won't have to apply for a new one to run another business. They just oh, have to apply yeah, no, for a I... business, which is a te uh, technically a free mm. process right now. Mm. So what we'd have to do is monetize the applying for the an actual business process. Yeah. So oh my god, we should get paid to have to review business proposals. I should have to get paid. I gotta spend work looking at them and, 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 and help them and, and stuff like that. We should get paid on that. You know what you guys should do? What? Well, there's gonna be a pin flux of these. You start a paid prio program oh my where god. somebody can pay you and they get theirs reviewed quicker. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I get royalties. No. No. <laughs> what? I'm copyrighting it. You bet. It, there's no copyright laws here. Bitch. No copyright laws. Oh, I'm going to make... Uh, okay, I want that legislation for no interest. That's, that's, copyright for laws. For no interest? Oh, shit. That's actually a good one, though. It is actually good. And somebody, somebody else had brought that up to me recently. Um, that's a good one. That's like good intellectual one. property yeah. in general? I bet Crane would hate that show. Oh, he would <laughs> not. Nah, yeah. You know, there might be a Los Santos way that we could write that. Yeah, true. Doesn't get weird. We'll, uh, we'll mull it over. Yeah, we'll talk about the loan uh, more later. Yeah. We're almost done. I just got to pick up packages here and then we turn them in. What, uh, you don't have anything that you want to buy? Um... Oh, he does. He's saving up for a house in the hills, for sure, for sure. Or maybe like a, a Giga car. Yeah. I'm assuming you I've had everything. <laughs> I... I checked my bank records before I flew out of town the last time, years and years ago. And I amassed a total of over $750 million in my my time here in Los Santos. I've had everything. Babe, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to take out 50k from the city account for that audit that we did over the police department. I was going to ask, did we get paid for that? Well, why the fuck would I have to ask the government to take that money out when it's already been established as precedent that we pay people for doing that job? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why? No, because it, it, they're just gonna be like, why? <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to explain to them, and they're gonna be like, oh, okay, sure. Y'all should have <laughs> had me a treasurer. <laughs> yeah, well, you would have been a good treasurer, man. Right? I'm glad that it didn't happen, to be honest. Like, I, it, if it happened, that would have been cool, but there's just so many things that, you know, I've gotten to experience not being the treasurer that uh, it would have been sad to miss out on those things, you know? You know, hey, y'all want to hurry up? Let me, um, let me talk to him. She and I trauma bonded recently. She got to see how fucking unlucky I am. Wait, can you talk louder, babe? Oh, yeah. Um, let me talk to Etta about that before you take it out, because she and I have trauma bonded recently. Tim Boom and uh, Dan think so. All right, fine. You know, good, good I, think that, I think we could prob I think we could probably clear it with her and have it not be an issue. Um, 
literally Max, I was hanging out with her, like we went into one place and all of a sudden like a crime started happening and I'm like, this is really unlucky, like we look super sus. And then we left to go somewhere else and then a crime was happening nearby there too. So and then makes I, I, she just Blinding literally got to see how unlucky I am. Um, yeah, let's, let's ask her. Okay. Okay. You have all your notes and shit still, right? Uh, of course. Uh, how many pages did you write? Uh, 47, 48? Yeah. I 48 des pages we deserve a bonus, don't we? <laughs> uh, my hands were cramping. Bill and Johnny topside and blind so it just it To be fair, they're only cramping after the Duncan one. Yeah, try to get 50k for both of us. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one hundred thousand dollars. I wonder if our pay raise actually went through. Uh, it did. I tested. Ooh. Wait. So what are we at again? That's why I said. That's why I said like we're making like ninety-one thousand a week, or I'm not around there. Uh, I think we're at. A, okay, you were at nine hundred, and we got a two hundred dollar raise. So you're making eleven hundred. I'm making a thousand. Mm. Yeah, you need the exercise. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What? I can't hear you, bitch. Okay. Penis spells of privilege means that you can't be forced to testify. When I cut Jonathan's arm off. Why do you want to hurt him? We just have to talk to him. Because I'll be talking to him, and then he'll suddenly be like, be mean, and then try to gaslight me. And that, he that's fucking hung up on me! He keeps fucking with me. He keeps gaslighting the shit out of me. When I've been going through a lot. I think he might be insane. Quick, fo quick phone call. Yes, sir. You have to stop tormenting my wife. <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? The fucking the the the, the gaslighting, the he man shit. You have to stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. I love you, Chuck. Done. He said okay. See, we didn't have to chop his arm off. See? Okay, what about Glorion? What about Glorion? She's done the same thing! They both have! Two people I trusted as friends! Phone call number two incoming. Hey, Dad. Hey! Almost there. You can see something cool? Well, yeah, sure, but we gotta talk real quick. Uh, you wanna come to the convenience store on the south side i'm busy you're busy yeah i'm in yeah, I'm, sure. a, I'm in polito okay listen you got you gotta stop you gotta stop tormenting and gasping my wife about this damn shit <laughs> what i'm not yeah you'd like saying you being like hey man and like doing like just like be like wake up human you guys... I didn't tell her to wake up she told me to wake up last night look, look just be more understanding and in and, and help her instead of Causing her to spiral. I'm not trying to. Oh, look, stop it's me. not just you. It's not just you. Okay, you're like literally the second person I've called. Okay, and I, I'm sure I've got more people to call. Just like, just help her, please. I'm begging you. Yeah, I'm. I was trying to help her. I was at the. There was a the Dan thing that happened last night. Yep. And then she disappeared. Yeah. And there was a pool of blood, and then she. Just freaking out. So what do you want? What do you want to show me on the south side? Ow. Oh, oh, we found a giant building. You're on a giant building? Yeah, we have a giant building. Wait, how? We, we bought a warehouse to have our business. Cool. What's your business? Yeah. Like a, a business model, farmer's market, I guess. Okay. Do the people need businesses before they buy Mass. buildings? Okay, um, all right. Yeah, I would like to see that, but it's going to be a little bit. All right. Okay, love yeah, you. I'm... All right. Person number two taken care of. Who else do Wait, I need no, to yell at? Yourself. All right, hang on. 
Beep, 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 beep. Ring. So look at ring. Did, ring. Have you ever done toe? Ring. No. Ring. Okay. Ring. Ring. So the way that the uh, Tom, right? He's the foreman there, ring. or whatever the fuck he called. Hold on, we're, we're, we're Marlo. We're doing something real quick. Hang on. What is wrong with the back of the trailer? What do you mean? Is this an apology phone call? What, what do you mean the back of the trailer? What about the back of the trailer? You don't see it like wiggling around? Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta tell me when that happens. I'll fix it. It looks cool. Uh, I, uh, He's gaslighting me right now. He's I, uh, literally gaslighting me. I'm hanging up on you. We're You're trafficking people right now. They're trying to get out. Why would he call you and say that? <laughs> well, we have to get out, you said? No, no, no. I said we're trafficking people in the back. They're trying to get out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he call you back? What? No, after I hung up on him? No. I'm asking you. Call yourself? I'm sorry, Beb. I didn't realize the problem was as serious as it ended up being. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, why'd you turn the lights off? I was uh, attaching the trailer. Oh. Oh, he's going. Lorian? Well, I'm not okay. Wait, why'd you detach it? You know, we're not carrying anything anymore. We're done. Oh, nice. So, what happens when you detach it? Does it just remain there forever? Uh. <laughs> I, I'm with Max. I'm gonna car with people. I'm gonna hang on because no, I don't want to. I don't want to no. be a phone person. Yes, and uh, Felipe gets littered with them. Oh, there we go. So Apology is accepted. On the club soon. Dumping. Cool. All right. Love you. <laughs> yeah. After every Packer run, Packers generally just ditch their trailer right at the uh, yes. right on the side of the road up there. Um. Surely that should be illegal. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Make that a charge. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, there's no way to tell whose trailer came from who, so you just have to see him do it. Yeah. This thing kind of takes off, huh? Yeah, 115 on the straight. Um, so, yeah, the way uh, the tow foreman... He, uh, he pays people based on, you know, their seniority there. Whereas all these other bosses pay you based on the job you're doing. Even if you're not a skilled employee, you can just come in off the street, hop in my packer and make as much as I make, even though I've been, you know, doing it for a long time. Um, and although that does, you know, incentivize people to work together, it also does make it so people can like these bosses, they don't like when you work for other people, right? Like if I go try to do a G6 job right now, yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, Frank's yeah, gonna be pissed. Yeah, I know. But hold on, hold on, hold on. wait. Um, can the tier two truck also be detached like that? No. Okay. Just this one. Um. So they already. So people like me, I can't go work group six, right? Because I I need to have my packer. I, I I'll get fucked over if I go work group six. However. People can sit in my passenger seat, work with me in my packer, and then they can also go sit in someone's passenger seat at group six and get the benefit from both, right? Where the boss, he doesn't like it, but he's still gonna pay them the large amount of money that they're being paid for for the job, as opposed to their skill level. <laughs> right? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> my, my wife, my darling dear. I beg thee forgiveness. Please understand. I did not know how truly terrible it was. <laughs> Please tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> Please. Did you say dear? Yeah, D E A R. 
Oh, I thought you meant like the animal. No, I said my darling deer. Yeah, I thought you were calling her a deer. No. Like Bambi. No. Like if she had antlers or something. Or a hood. She had antlers, Marlo. Oh. Vingle Dan ripped off antelope antlers and then soldered them to her head. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so that's why you called her a deer. No, I I just called oh. her deer because she's my wife. Your dear wife. Yes. Fade onyx for seven. <laughs> I thought the deer. I thought that. I thought the antlers looked fetching. It really awakened something deep inside of me. <laughs> it does awaken something in you. Oh, reawaken! I've always been a latent furry. Okay. <laughs> hey, I accept your apology. Wait, really? Because you did make me feel really hot. When? Even when I felt really bad. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course. Look, I'll just shoot the next Dan that I see that is near you, okay? And then we'll throw them in the ocean. <laughs> what if we chop off their arm? Uh, yeah, let's, let's take their arm. Just make them not have rights. That's what we and tried to- That's what I was trying Marlo, to legislate! That's what we tried today! Oh, crazy. So you're still oh, we're stealing not stealing. My bits. You, you, you're you are stealing just, my bits. You're clearly, okay. you're clearly just su well suited for government so, Marlo, work. I had no <laughs> idea about any of that. I wrote this legislation because they have been stalking me and harassing me and doing weird, creepy little fucking blood rituals outside of my office with candles and blood and shit. Yeah. Blood and shit? Marlo, you I should mean, run shit for mayor. Like a euphemism, not a... Um, Next, uh, I think two, that, I two, think two, I think two elections asking. from now. Oh, or really? Why two elections from now? Because my wife is running next time. Oh, are you going to do a, a double? Yeah. Marlo, you would be a great deputy mayor. You should still run. Nah. The, you, uh, you're just better suited for the streets. Yeah. Better suited for being a slumlord slash loan shark. <laughs> yeah. They ain't called Marlones for nothing. Marlones, baby. You know. If you want to curb inflation, that is my suggestion. That's all I'm saying. What? The bosses. You gotta look into this labor union. People Wait. getting paid for jobs they're not skilled in. Oh. Like you could you could have just joined this packer run and got paid the amount that I get paid for being a skilled worker while having no. Well, my no, question, my no question is: Do you have the option to work a lower tier job? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe that should be put to a stop. I, I think that somebody should be, like, you should still be able to work with me, but you should get paid less than you would if you were skilled enough to run the pack for yourself. Because it, it, all it does is it makes it so you don't have to work your way up in grime if you can just sit in my packer. You can sit in my packer, then you can go in someone's tier three blockade group six truck, and then you could go, you know what I mean? Like, you can, you can just hop from job to job. If you don't care about your you're you working up in that position because you can just sit in other people's trucks you're gonna get paid the same as them yeah, 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 yeah. even though you don't have the skill as them and that's just that's i mean that's just easy inflation wouldn't that hurt your prio business though 100 percent. you're a selfless man marlo i was wrong about i am you. i'm a humanitarian <laughs> a dream creator some would say that's what you called yourself he's the uh, dream man sir smart people are saying it all right, Marla, thanks for uh, showing us and teaching us and yeah, stuff. Yeah, thank you. Um, yep, yep. I'm going to tell you what is going to change real quick. Um, I'm going to inquire about the ability for people to hop around between jobs and receive full pay for the the maximum shit. That you, we, the, I don't necessarily think it should have to. Like, the job should, they, is harder, so even if it's not, like, like the job is harder, right? So they are still doing a, a harder job, but if they haven't worked for it, I mean, I think Toe handles that pretty well. Um, I don't so, think that's true, by the way. So we're, we're gonna get a yeah. we're gonna get a legal dumping of a truck trailer. Yeah. Um, we are. So you, where do you want people? You want people to bring it all the way back here? I guess. 
That's a, that's a good point, actually. I don't know where the fuck. Because if you go up to Polito, you'll see them in the, like, in that truck stop. You'll see them there already. Is leaving it in a truck stop fine? Is it just leaving on the side of the road? You got to kind of well, figure do, out where why, you want why, those Why dumps. not just drive all the way back here and then return the trailer? Yeah, I don't understand why I can't just drop the entire trailer off the motherfuckers up there and they can sort it themselves. Because they don't sort it. That's the problem. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm talking about for the job, like instead of me taking all the boxes out of the goddamn trailer, why I can't just leave the trailer up there. Oh, yeah. And they unpack it. Yeah, that's why not make the trailer to uh, towable. Yeah, why no. not? I mean, yes, but it should be. But it's more so you, you've you seen it when we're up there, how there's like fucking 15 oh, yeah, trailers there, on the like side of the road. of them, some yeah. shit. Oh, I know. Annoying. Um and i'm going to inform police officers uh, about how to to properly uh spot check which yeah, i don't think that much re- change needs to happen there yeah nothing nothing's really changing all right marlo thank you yeah thank you let me know about the loan yeah i will for sure intellectual property what do you want in copyright yeah ips Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hi, Barrick. Hi. So are you guys still uh, struggling with how to uh, find grime truck drivers? Um, yeah, I think uh, where the struggle probably is for a lot of people is uh, I don't think it's as easy as it might have intended to be, I guess. Okay, so I, I can explain to you the process that you need to follow in order to actually do it and do it legally. Okay. So let me, let Is me, this let like me... I need to go somewhere? No. Or are you going to tell just, me over the phone? Yeah, I'm just going to tell you over the phone. Just pull out a notepad. Okay. And I'll, 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 we'll go through the steps. Uh, most of the time, these guys are driving like assholes, so that's kind of like their suspicion. Uh, that, that's their ability to detain them right there for a traffic stop. Uh, alternatively, if they notice that the uh, the trailer is sagging visibly... Uh, that in accordance with the the unfull opera, uh, unlawful operation of a wide load charge in the penal code, it allows them to do a spot check, um, which will allow them to search the cargo hold and check the cargo manifest. Uh, and at that point, they simply check to see if they have more than one thousand kilograms of any package type. If they are if they are over one thousand kilograms of any package type, you can issue the fine, which is unlawful operation of a wide load. Uh, this is specifically for the tier three truck, uh, the Packer. It's like the like fourteen wheeler, basically. Yeah, really yeah one. the one with like the big clucking bell on the side and show the what the up. Uh, it's the only okay. one with the the only one with the de- detachable trailer. Any questions? No, I'm writing all it down. Sorry. Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to pay more attention to that. What the fuck was that beeping? Uh, it's, not, really, it, it's, uh, not like, it's not like so pressing. I just, know this, I just know this has been kind of like a gray area uh, that has not been fully fleshed out yet for you guys to be able to police. So I went and did a run with Marlo and he kind of walked me through it and shit. How's your day, bud? How you? How are you, Big B? Not too bad. Not too bad. I caught up on a little bit of sleep last night, so nice. A late start to my day. How how is the, uh, is, uh, the, the how are the streets right now? Are they hot? Uh, best I can tell, things are uh, pretty slow right now. I don't think uh, too too much is going on. Word. Nothing crazy anyway. You got a lot of the people probably uh, doing moonshine and stuff like that, but. I don't think uh, any big marquee stuff is happening. Uh, no, nice. no laundromat robberies, cash exchanges, stuff like that. So I think uh, it's pretty solid. It's <laughs> like a lot of people are taking the night off. Where's the park? Probably jinxed it just now, but. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's fine. How's uh, administrative work coming? Not too bad. Just uh, kind of tackling one thing at a time. And now that it's. Uh, the assistant chief is there as well. I imagine things will be more streamlined. And well, well, who'd you who'd you pick for assistant chief? Uh, Ruby. 
Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> also I have uh, <laughs> two sergeants in every shift by Monday or Tuesday. So nice. that will who are your who are the sergeants you're looking at? Um during shift one it's gonna be Viv and Anita. Um during shift two it's gonna be Bones. Uh Bones and yeah, dude. McNulty. Okay, nice. And then from those two and every shift will come from it will come a lieutenant and then another sergeant to replace them mm. nice well after that Hi, uh, how, do you, how do you think morale is i mean i would like to think it's good mm -hmm. all the feedback i've heard is good uh the only complaint really that i've heard is people are getting promoted too fast which is uh, a result of being not promoted at all or too slow previously Dude, so. what the fuck? Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I, uh, who is complaining about that? That's the question. Is it someone? Is someone? I don't know. Like, oh God, you guys need a Can't foundation. Make happy. You need a foundation. Yeah. That it has exactly, to be there. Yeah. And, and everyone that you said has been working for months. So. Yeah, I mean, can't can't please everybody. Everybody's gonna have their opinion. True. Yeah, can't, like, stay the course. I think you're doing a fucking excellent job. Yeah, I mean, it, it was only one person that brought it down, so. Well, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to go. I got to yeah, talk to you. I, I knew who it was. I, you'd probably say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, who was it? It was, uh, it was Maple. Oof. Must not have got a promotion, huh? <laughs> well, you know, he might. We'll see. <laughs> but, you know, I understand to some extent. Yeah. But it's also just necessary right now. Yep. Get a foundation in there. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Plans yeah. to have uh, two sergeants everywhere, and then pick a lieutenant from those two, and then get another sergeant to replace them. So there's two in every shift. Sick. Uh, how, how's and it going? Like four or five seniors. How's it going with Ruby? Are you guys working together well? Or? Uh, yeah. I mean, it was just yesterday. We spent a lot of yesterday together just talking about stuff, seeing uh, what those opinions were, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Awesome. Could All right. Solid. Well, I, I gotta talk to me wife. All right. All right, love All right. you. You should call Ruby and congratulate her. Absolutely not. <laughs> what? I should not. I should not ever be allowed to talk to her one on one anymore. <laughs> yeah, actually, maybe I should be there for that. Hey, I, uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, I got to pack this. Yeah, you do. Is there an ordination fee? I can't remember. Um, no, but I was thinking whether or not we should do that. I don't think we actually made a fee for it. Oh yeah, you need so that we need to do Sony and get her her thing. I don't know how we're gonna do that functionally. I think we have to get it tell a judge it's approved or something so they can issue it. I don't even think the ordination license was created yet. If we just need a judge to mark her profile or what? <sighs> Might just do profile marking. What if I actually? What if I wrote you a congrat? I feel like you could you could pre-write it. You just have to you know just write a little speech. Yeah, I'm better at writing. Ruby. I'm better at writing. Oh, look. I'm better at writing too. I would rather uh, that wound needs some time to heal. <laughs> needs some. It has not been long enough. I don't know, but then again, at the same time, sometimes wounds heal faster when someone says the right words. <laughs> Look, fuck the, fuck the ruby shit, okay? How are you doing? Um... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like, uh, the... Oh, oh, scary. Saw someone you leap know, those, down the, behind those, you. Oh, that's always scary. I feel like those antlers 
awaken something in me too. Really? Mm hmm. Like what? I don't know. Do you want me to get like an outfit with a tail or something? Or? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The antlers were enough. But look, I, I, I love you. Do you no butt plug, perhaps? <laughs> no matter. Remember the name, right? Yeah, I remember. No, no, it's a dolly. Remember the name, right? Yeah, that's what it's called. Tanuki butt plug. Nice, good for me. Key Council of Eight legislation updates. Mayor arrested. <laughs> yeah, I want to read what they're saying about us. I don't have a notebook. You can just read. Okay, I'll just hand you one. Here. Oh, here. Here's the notebook. Wait, I do have one. I do. That have one. you. Okay. Yeah, you know I, I have how do I add like, to it again? Uh, just drag it over and use some washi tape. Make sure you don't, you know, you put it on a blank page. Oh no. Uh oh. It's like it's like locked in place. Okay, so let's let's say I went to go tape it in there, and then I can't. Uh -huh. I changed my mind at the last minute, and now I can't move either the notebook or the the piece <laughs> of paper. What shall I do then, my darling? Uh, think about Risa and the Always of Fate. I did. Already. How'd it go? Ooh, okay, when that happened to me, uh, you you have to take a nap. But, you know, the good news is that you love those. <sighs> you, you love sleeping. It's your favorite activity. I'm an old man. I need my rest. All right, here. I just, I'm going to make your life easier so you can still view the magazine. Oh wow, they got the picture of you in the back of the cop car for this. Oh shit, for the front yeah, this, page. This is first. Great. Yeah, this is great. DOC protocols. Mr. Mosley's inventory update draws eager customer. Okay, DOC protocols. Mosley's inventory update draws eager customers. Oh, people are pissed. People were so pissed last night. Oh my god. Mm -mm. I posted it in chat. Oh wow, some shots of us in the prison. That's great. Yep. Do any of these look incriminating? No, cool. Yeah, we look, we, look, we look pretty cool in there, actually. Kind of hard. Oh, actually, okay. One of these has Vingle Dan with a, a knife. Oh, God. This is this is literally evidence of witness tampering. All right. We weren't tampering. We were in prison. We were tampered with. Oh. I was tampered with. Right. <laughs> yeah, wait. Wait, Max. I tried to ask because we were going to drop the charges, right, against Vingle? Were we going to withdraw the case? Um, yeah. yeah. I tried, and, and no, nobody would listen to me. Oh. Tell Beric. Tell Beric. I don't want to be re-traumatized on the sun and deal with cross-examination where they make me out to be a psycho-crazy person who should be institutionalized. I just need help. I don't need to hey, be Mr. made Mayor. to hey, feel very, like I'm insane. Very quickly, Beric. Okay. Uh, my wife wants to drop the trial against... Uh... Bingle. Like the ego act? Uh, he says for the ego act. Yep. Yeah, for the ego act. Yes, for the ego act. Okay, I'll, I'll let I'll let the people know. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Done. Great. Great. Now he'll be let out. What'd you say? Now Bingle will be let out, right? Probably. Probably. Yeah, because they don't have the hut anymore. Yep, and then he can help us with our mission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Thank God, I was trying and I was worried that, you know, he might think I wasn't trying hard enough since nothing had happened. You see me throw that piece of paper that was solid rock? <laughs> that was weird. Did you crumple it up or? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Speaking speaking of naps, it's nap time, babe. 
Wait, are you still having that issue? I mean, like, long nap time. Also, no, that issue went away. After oh, good. A, yeah. Also, I need you to take this. Okay. And find a way to destroy and or get rid of this permanently. <laughs> okay. Why? What is this? That was uh, that was the tape that first had recording us talking to Bingle. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I will try to find something to do with this. <gasps> hmm. I just got a brilliant idea. What? What if it just gets lost in the lost and found of City Hall? For what? Why? why? Wait, I can't. They won't. They won't take my stuff anymore. Never mind. I'm oh, trying to think about how I'm gonna destroy it. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's let's just fucking keep it in our apartment or our trailer. Yeah. What could go wrong? What if I throw it into the sea? Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what you should do? Get a scuba tank, and then take it as far down into the ocean as you can. <laughs> uh, do you know where I can get a scuba tank? Police department. Uh. Do you think they'll give me one? Why not? What? Why not? Because I'm not a, a police officer? Yeah, but I don't think scuba tanks included in that. I'm I'm not going to throw it into the sea until we get a boat. And we can get really far out there. Good idea. Last time I tried to use a scuba tank, uh, <laughs> it did not go well. They do really not have a lot of oxygen. They don't. You got. Uh, you got. You got to put it on right before you hop in too, because the oxygen starts running out. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Um. And um, when you think you're like half, the second half of the oxygen decreases much quicker than the first half did. Maybe it's because there's less oxygen pressurizing it, so it releases faster. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not a scientist. Yeah. I'll leave that to you. Yeah. I'm a scientist. Yeah, that's right. I'm a but, real uh, scientist. <laughs> but the, yeah, they just like, so you think, oh, halfway done. I'll go return to the, you know, the, the surface. Wrong. You will drown. <laughs> and you better pray to God that the fucking sea washes you to shore. Or you anyway, gonna, yeah. Just wait, no, just no wait, tapes. just wait there for five hours until someone finds you. You dope. <laughs> I'm going to go, uh, Wait, 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 just wait till someone finds me? I can't really control what happens to my unconscious body. Just, just say, just do what uh, Gringle Dan did. Get towed, oh my god. Get, get towed to shore by a fleet of sea turtles. <laughs> I feel like I should still be allowed to kill Dan's on site. Look, I'm Like just, every I'm, single one that's fucked with Beb, us, I feel like I should be allowed to shoot them. Beb, listen. Okay, okay, Ben. If it's us explaining to the police what happened when we shot one of them, if we so happen to get caught, they're going to take our word over theirs 100%. Right. So, I, so I, what I, we do, I, what we do I, is, 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 is if you see one. I don't know if I agree with you. Oh, well, look. Okay. If we're together, then they're kill on site. They were treating the dance like people. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Cops. I know. Gross. They're extending human rights to them. They're not humans. Um, yeah, so look, I, I don't know it, if it, I can just explain myself because last time I tried to do that, Flop said he would shoot me. Look, here's what we do, okay? Okay. We we bait. Okay, if it's me and you, and we're we're moving around. Um. And they are around our trailer, specifically. I'll just shoot them, and then we'll load them up in my car, and then go toss them in the ocean. Okay? And then if the cops decide to investigate, we'll be like, oh, yeah. Remember how remember how we've been getting stalked for two weeks, and there's been a bunch of chaos around our trailer? If you found any blood there, it's probably from that stuff. And then, oh, yeah. And then, and then we could justify it that way. And then pretend like we didn't shoot and then dump one of them in the ocean. We have okay. we have an alibi. But that's not what an It is. Blood alibi. Someone... Blood alibi. Oh, okay. Blood alibi. Alright. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm just gonna accept that. Yeah. 
normally an alibi means that you people can vouch for the fact that you were elsewhere doing something, but what about what about like casings? Yeah, no. Well, oh right, sorry. Mm. I, uh, we we shot a murder kitty. Boom. Dunzo. But didn't three one one or nine one one to inform authorities that it occurred? So we'll, not we'll, stand your we'll, ground we'll, and still we'll guilty. Well, three one one when we shoot. Oh, okay, and just say it was a murder kitty on that three one one. Yep. Easy. Let the cops show up. We just three one one after, after the deed is done. What? We'll, we'll we'll do it after we have them loaded up in the car and we're driving. <laughs> Far enough away. <laughs> what if we just? What if we just blood sacrifice then? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That's a good ass idea. I'm gonna go sleep in my office. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna go put this in the trailer immediately. Okay. I'm gonna be around late tonight, so I'll see okay. you then, babe. All right. Bye, love. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Goodbye, Abilene. Good night, Mr. Mayor. Ooh, 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 and hello ooh. again, Mrs. Chief of Staff. Oh my God. Hi. Time to play some motherfucking cop, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did I click connect? I don't remember, dude. I did not. I need to make some other freaking coffee, dude. Uh, it's not microwave coffee, dude. I'm gonna make pour over coffee. Thought you gave up coffee? I thought you were a bitch, little bitch. I did for a little bit. V60 or flat bottom? I don't know what the fuck you just said to me, dude. Definitely not flat bottom, though, whatever that is. I'll be right back.
I'm here, kind of. One sec. I had to make a plate of food, too. I'm back. <clears throat> For real. I got rice and chicken and broccoli, dude. How's it smell? Delicious, dude. Huh, where's my car? Declan wrote it until it doesn't have gas anymore, so we have to get it towed, I think. You like the botch and barbecue sauce, dude? Nice. W. Not using no clip, prog. Dude, I'm not a freaking cheater, man. Chicken and rice is my favorite meal, dude. So many freaking cops. 190, 10, 180. One fun, I'm getting a turbo installed at Mosley's. Requesting backup. What seasoning? It's Gochu Garu? One seventy-seven. If I get robbed, just one seventy-seven. <laughs> one three three in route. Flag. No salt. Lenny, son. Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. You see my email? Yep. I. You must. Uh, I guess get a tow. Well, well, it's, <clears throat> sorry, sound like a bitch for a second. On three twenty three, Mosley. <laughs> yeah, call it call it tow. I'm gonna fix it. Hey. I get dap for my car? Nope. Uh, my phone doesn't work. We never got me a new one, Lenny son. Oops. <laughs> oh, also, uh, just so we're on the same page, uh, you and I like to take uh, swims in the Mirror Park Dam after coating ourselves with baby oil. Oh, for one, yeah, we do do that. Cat, but, uh, <laughs> hey. And that is Thomas the reason when we were in the room yesterday next like to Tesla Lamb that I said to you, you'll be swimming soon. It's because you were tired and I was reassuring you <laughs> that we were going to go swimming soon to, you know, relieve our stress. Yes. <laughs> I definitely wasn't telling her that we were going to ocean dump her. <laughs> And I definitely Last didn't get interviewed I, I about that exchange by Kid now. Archer already. Already there, club. Sounds well, good. From the courthouse. So we like to go swimming right. in the Mirror Rock Park Dam Mosley. after we cut ourselves uh, a, a baby oil. Yeah, just to relieve our stress from stolen. Stolen. All right, sounds good. And apparently he <laughs> kept all of his personal possessions in there, $85,000 worth of personal possessions inside of the club. Hey, uh, yeah, I need to get a phone. We never got one the other day. Yeah, we'll I do it. bad for the fella, but... I put it bluntly on channel one. I don't know why you'd be foolish enough to keep your entire possession of your car driving around in them. 
Bubba doop, bubba doop, bubba doop. No, just give me uh, the toilet. Again, 133, uh, 1041. 10 8. Just copies, Mark Unity, and 10 8 at 625. Here to bring Irish Joy to shift 2 during this beautiful weekend. Do any officers on duty own a tow truck? A comment. It's a good. It's a good growler. Right, a comment westbound. Hello. Carson. Hello. Green clock and tell you the license plate. Hello. Who's this? Officer uh, Lenny Hawk, Mr. Michael Steve. Six. November. Mr. Lenny Hawk. They hired you again. Bravo. Yeah. Uh, Congratulations, sir. Hi, it's, I'm Colonel Steve. Good to, to hear from you, sir. Yeah, I remember you. You uh. You looking for a job, still? Yes, sir. I am. I am out here towing my brains out, trying to, trying to get me to the twenty-five hundred dollar redos that I need to become a job. I know I speak with a highly Australian accent, but you must believe me. I'm from Ohio, and I am America. <laughs> God, I love this country. <laughs> okay, look, I'll pay for it. I don't give a shit. <gasps> You'll pay for it, sir? Yeah. Oh my god, I can finally use the money I've been saving up to buy pants! This is great! I, I'm no longer homeless, but where are you, sir? Um, I do need a tow to the gas station, though. My car's out of gas. <laughs> yes, sir, where are you? Uh, MRPD parking lot. I'm on my way, I'm on my way, sir. I'm on my way. Okay. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I wonder if he was already here. He's from Ohio. <laughs> Check if he has a warrant. He does not. Um, Hi. Do you have a minute to talk really quick? Yeah, come over here to the uh, SUV. Or, uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, What's up? What's up, Archer? Let's... See you, officer. Well, man. Oh, you know, just call me, you know, Kit or Archer. You okay. Know. Okay. Uh, here, uh, come over here with me real quick. <laughs> Lenny, I'll handle the car. I got money and all everything. I got, I got money. I got. Oh, God! Thank you, sir. Steve, get some pants and an application. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come over here, yes, Declan. I met Steve. Hello, sir. Hey. Which car am I dubbing, sir? This one. Uh, the this one. Get, come over hey, here, sir, so I can sir. give you keys, Declan. You talking to me or this sir? Declan. That, that sir, okay. Hey. On it, sir. Go. Oh. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Declan apparently oh. drove my car until oh. it didn't have oh. gas oh. anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. What's um, up? I, I just wanted to ask you briefly about a situation that happened last night. I, uh, you attended the, I think it's a game night here. Yeah. Um, last night, yeah. I heard you got a couple points. Yeah. Uh, it's, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, was there any conversation that happened between Ukraine and Tessa Lam during that event? I think I, I accused her of being a uh, cop killer. <clears throat> and uh, she said, you'll have to prove it or some shit. I don't know. She's, be, she's doing oh. a very uh, catch me if you can type thing. Okay. Um, was there anything said between Crane and Tessa? I mean, not that I can recall. I, I, I charged a guy there. Yeah, get a load of this. Um, 
adoption frauded someone <laughs> in that meeting. Oh. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, good, good, uh, good stuff. Proud of you. Um, okay. Uh, so what I'm going to say regarding the um, cop killer accusation um, is just that I understand that you and Crane are taking lead on the um, the Cornwood stabbing. Is that correct? Yep. Um, Tessa has made some complaints uh, regarding officer conduct towards her. Um, <laughs> the complaint wasn't against you. Um, this is actually the first I'm hearing about this accusation. Yep. Um, uh, so thank you for being honest about that. Um, yep. I would just say moving forward with Tessa, um, you know, just uh, business as usual, you know, uh, do what you need to do as far as the investigation goes. Like if you see you're speeding, if you're like doing like a traffic, a traffic citation or infraction or committing a crime or whatever, you know, do whatever you need to do with that. But other than that, uh, I would just kind of stay clear of her. Because she's mad. Um, she's already made accusations about officer misconduct. Conduct, so uh, at this point, I don't want it to affect the integrity of your investigation um, yeah. or give her kind of um, reason to claim a malic malicious prosecution on our end. So I think we just need to be as professional as we can with her. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All, All right. right. I appreciate the talk. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta talk to Cordwood. Uh, okay. After he's, he, he, I guess he's awake right now, so I, I, I gotta call him about the investigation. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you need any, um, any help or anything with your investigation, or if I can help in any way, please let me know. I'm not really involved with it, but you know, happy to do whatever's needed. Understood, um, ma'am. When are you looking to push charges on her? I need to. Uh, I need to get. I need to determine whether or not if Cornwood is able to recall what happened with any clarity. Well, Cornwood's statement is: it was Tessa, that cold-hearted bitch. I thought we were friends. Wait, in my report? Yeah. That's new. Well, well, in report three eight three three. PvP. Well, whose idea was it to lift a call like that? Mine, sir. Okay, why is that? Uh, there's a certain uh, there's like a there's like a staircase uh around uh it's in the it's in the hills and these motherfuckers will take their car to take that jump and uh my my car can't take it unless it's lifted the scout. <laughs> So you invented a new way to combat it? Uh, well, I, I just I didn't know if it was against the rules to uh, lift it. Uh, you know, we got a little little bennies down there that we could do. So I mean, I mean, it's, there's no right now. I mean, I'll, I'll give you that, but I think um, it's, Viv it's, talked it's, about it in the meeting today, and she said, you know, modifications kind of within reason to your car. Yeah. You know, like. Uh, I lifted my SUV. Country stuff. Yeah, just uh, I think I think we need to have a range, right? To where like you can do something like that if needed. If you're combating something, a certain call that requires something more lifted to allow more elevation for you to move in with a cop car. Sure, there's no wrong with that, right? But it can't be too crazy, right? And the range has to be somewhere in between. Is that too uh, too crazy? I would say so. If you could lower it down, probably halfway, if possible. It's like a monster truck. Yeah, sure, yeah, it looks sure. like a, yeah, it looks it looks a bit silly. That's all. I mean, like I said, there's no, there's no like standard right now. We're working on standard right now for all cop cars, but I would say just maybe for certain calls, bring it down. Maybe certain calls, bring it back up. Right. The problem is, uh, you know, I would have to get another receipt and then find a mechanic at Mosley's, and then the mechanic has to apply the receipt, and then I'd have to get right, back. right. It'd take like 15, 15, 20 minutes. I wouldn't be able to be used in a reactive way. That's a good point. I mean, I, I can see that. I mean, we'll, we'll try to come up with something. I'll tell you what, I don't know. Cap, uh, uh, for you, sir, I will lower it to about halfway, and then I'll see if I can still make that jump. And then uh, if I can, I'll just keep it that way. All right, sounds good. Sure, yeah, sir. Oh, I'm um, going to go back to Mosley's. I'll be back. Oh, uh, what's going on, kid? 
I was just, I was just talking to Hawk. Oh, okay, all right. Y'all take care. You too. Uh, but ah, uh, you might want to ask Bye. him to expand on his statement a little bit. I mean, I, I, I saw her on scene, and then uh, Declan and I had a bit of a miscommunication. I, I dropped him out of the car with the, uh, with the assumption that he would kind of like hold her at gunpoint and then I, I circled the car around to kind of keep eyes on the three other people that was with her but uh Declan ended up chasing after those guys as well so we were kind of I kind of we lost eyes on her yeah VCB'd on Cornwood for like 15 20 seconds and then we came back and he had been stabbed and oh. she was gone was she was she wearing a mask like could she, you clearly she wore, identify her she was wearing like sunglasses and a hat okay um Gosh, I don't know. Uh, did we have any, um, like, a a any kind of physical evidence? Like, did she have a knife on her? Or Because she was arrested, wasn't she? Yeah, I, uh, I arrested her originally. She didn't have a knife on her. Hmm. Yep, so uh, basically, Bones found her at her house. Uh, she was leaving her house and uh, arrested her there. And then we brought her down to MRPD. She didn't have a knife on her, so... Okay. Um, I mean, Cornwood was face to face with, uh, you know, who stabbed him. So uh, I think that that's oh, pretty good testimony. Is Officer Avery around here. I'm supposed to meet with her. Yeah, she's uh, right down there. I think I just saw her. Yeah, she's right down there. Um, so you know, I think he's gonna be your your best witness as far as, uh. I also, I, I, I investigated... Uh, identifying her? So I, I got a... Uh, so her alibi is that she was going to be at the... Uh, uh, Hubcap Jones concert. And I interviewed a guy that was there, unassociated with either of them. Mm -hmm. This guy Did said that... Did you see her? That, yeah, he said that she was there for about five to ten minutes. But uh, Hubcap Jones, uh, who has known Tessa Lamb for eight to nine years... Uh, and the guy that I interviewed d doesn't know either of them personally. Uh, Hubcap Jones said, so my question was, so you'd say she was there for about an hour? And then uh, Jones said, yeah, I would say that. <clears throat> okay. so, so she's lied about um, how long she was at the uh, the place, which is important because there was Have like you considered trying to get uh, a phone subpoena on her? Yeah, we will. During this time. Yeah, um, I want to get one for text between her and Hubcap, and I think I, I think I have uh, enough evidence to do that. Okay, if you need uh, if you need any help with that, with writing that, please let me know. Um, I will say, with bone subpoenas, um, it's more likely to get approved if you have a very narrow scope of time. So if you can if you can narrow the window down to maybe like two hours before, two hours after, an hour before, hour Good after, evening. whatever you need, um, that will probably help. Um, I don't know if we're able to track the location of the phone through a phone subpoena, um, like what sort of cell tower it pinged. Um, but if we are. Uh, that might also be helpful. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. All this is just kind of bonus work at this point. If Court would say that it was her and I ID'd her as Tessa on the scene, then... Oop, I slipped. But I think, no, I I think know, we're good. But it's good to always do your due diligence. Um, you know, more can't hurt you, basically. Uh, True. But, but, yeah, I mean... If you both have identified her, I think that's a pretty, pretty solid start. Yep. Sorry, I'm just reading my notes here. You're good. Um. So, do you have like a timeline of when you think you're gonna push these charges? Uh. Eventually. <laughs> eventually. Okay. Yeah. What, what's your relationship with Miss Lamb? Ma'am, if you don't mind my asking. Um, I knew her. I mean, 
I would say I kind of barely knew her a long time ago. You know, uh, when she was the game warden, I was in a different department than her and we'd speak casually to each other. I haven't really spoken to her since I moved back. I think, uh, I think when I took that statement from her was kind of the, the first time I'd really spoken to her in five or six years. I see. But you, you would say that you were close prior to such? No. Like I said, uh, <laughs> I think we casual acquaintances. Okay. What do you know about Tessa Lamb, Miss Archer? Mm, generally always heard nice things about her. That she was a good game warden. Um, she was very nice. That's pretty much it. You know what a uh, promotion hat is? A promotion hat? Hold on, there's a certain name for it. Campaign hat. Um, not specifically. What do you mean? It's a certain kind of hat, that's all. <laughs> oh, a campaign hat. Um, you mean like, uh, one like, I don't know, like, uh, Indiana Jones would wear or something? Kinda. Yeah, I, I remember, actually, no, I know what you're talking about, because I think we had uh, campaign hats in SDSO. So you knew Tessa when she was a game warden, huh? Mm-hmm. Did she ever wear a campaign hat? Uh, yeah, she did. Really? Uh, was it normal? Was so. it typical for her to wear it around the city? I think when she was on duty, I, I mean, it was a long time ago, I'm going to be honest. I think I remember her mainly wearing baseball caps, but I do think she wore the campaign hat. Do you, uh, so you were a police officer before the collapse, correct? Mm -hmm. I was in uh, SDSO. Did you, uh, where did the Rangers operate? Because uh, I, I know that they operate out of that little hut, kind of like up in the hills a little bit. Uh, at yeah, least, at least off, of, I... um, <clears throat> off of Bay Tree Canyon Road. Uh, there was, that was where the ranger station was. All right. Uh, and they continued to operate out of there until the collapse, you would say? Yes. All right. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything uh, else? Uh, you good? Do you have anything else for me, ma'am? Nope. I'm keep doing you. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. One last thing. <laughs> one Hello, one last Archer, thing, Miss Archer. Uh huh. Where were you on March fourteenth? Fifteenth, <laughs> the evening. Last night. Uh, it would have to be two nights ago, I think. Uh, I was on duty. Did you respond to the call of Cornwood stabbing? Uh, I did. Did you see him lying in a pool of blood? Uh, hey, Lenny son, I don't want to interrupt, not. but uh, we caught Zakid, uh, and he's asking to speak to you. Oh, this son of a bitch. <laughs> Where'd you catch him? Uh, I I got the car towed to get refueled, and I just saw him running down the street. So you just charged him? <laughs> no, McNulty was also there getting refueled, and I told McNulty to go arrest him. Nice. Is he in the cells? Slacks and McNulty, and someone else surrounded him, and he just gave up. Yeah, he's in the cells. I'll see you a little bit loud right now. Heard <clears throat> it. Um, it was, it, why does he want to talk to me? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I guess because you wrote the warrant. Oh. He said, let me talk to that ugly fuck. Well, he's going to be doing a lot more than talking to me. If the body cams are off. <laughs> I... There I was, descending the stairs of MRPD with my heterosexual life partner. 
I realized that perhaps there was some sort of connection between Kid Archer and Tessa Lamb that she wasn't letting on to fully. Mm. I also discovered, well, it seems like the uh, the Rangers, after I left to go to Nippon, continued to operate out of that little station off of Bay Tree. And that Miss Kid Archer had seen Tessa Lamb wearing the very same kind of hat that Senior Officer Bones had described to us. A campaign hat. Mm. <laughs> Where is he? The hell? He was in the cell. What are you doing in there? Shit. <laughs> what do you think? Were you going to jump me when I walked in? <laughs> no. You didn't say that with any amount of confidence. <laughs> You're fucking lucky, buddy. <laughs> Tell you that fucking much. You're lucky you checked your corners. Uh, now listen. Yeah. I give you a deal. Yeah. You're giving me a deal. Okay, let's hear it. Now your fate lays on this deal. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let me walk. <laughs> You'll never walk again. Or I'll never walk again. <laughs> Did I stutter? Uh, can you elaborate on that, please? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I know what you're doing. All right. <laughs> well, hey, look, I can already charge you with criminal threats. I just want to hear it from the horse's mouth. I haven't read my rights. So? <laughs> if you, uh... <laughs> Knowingly try to use that to trap someone that doesn't count because that means you know what your rights are to begin with, Zakid. Oh, he's entrapping me to say it again so he can charge me. That's entrapment. You already said it ah. once, Zakid. Ah. <laughs> you already said it once. Ah. I've been watching entrapment. a little bit of suits, buddy. I'll tell you what. I won't have the criminal threats, but also, fuck you, pussy. Try it. Also, 26 months. 16,000. Oh, no, listen, listen, please, listen. I just woke up and you guys surrounded me. What do you, what do you expect us to do? Give you, let you take a little Sunday walk until you can steal another car? I can't, I don't have any lock picks. And you're, while I was walking. How much money you got in your bank account? $100,000. How? Crime. What sort of crime? <laughs> Lots. Tell you what, we might be able to be uh, to cut a deal if you uh, give us some intel. Hey, what do you want to know? So, what sort of crime you do? Also, at this time, Ugly. you do have the right to remain silent. The you might will be used against your court of law. You have the right to attorney press if one's available to use the right side for the team. Sure. <clears throat> so you said uh, smuggling? Illegal plastic surgeries. You're doing back backyard plastic surgeries, huh? Nice. <laughs> Couple of knockoff boob jobs here and there. Haven't mm. haven't got any uh, reports about uh, knockoff boob jobs. I kill them. Holy fuck! <laughs> Keep the ripper. So you're not oh, willing. No. You're not willing to work with us then. That's fine. I, I don't know. I just do sanitation. I'll be honest. Yo, Daniel Buns. Really. So you're trying to sound hard then? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I think you're hard as fuck. I mean, who else, who else could crash into two different cars in front of <laughs> MRPD and then pull up and talk to us like nothing happened? <laughs> okay, well, Talking Ken Webster, he also did the same thing. He literally did defense, do that. <laughs> in my defense, the car was like stuck to my car and I was just getting flung about like a fucking yo-yo. You got magneted? Yeah. Well, It's like a British debuff. You just got to roll with it you know it happens well I, I i it happens to me too especially when i'm chasing uh australians sometimes they'll blow yeah. past a uh mm -hmm. one of those big dumpsters you know what i'm talking about and, and then they, they turn and the dumpster falls in front of you boom yeah or it, like it, it just flails around like a fucking remote mine waiting to be detonated on my car <laughs> true Okay, True. Hey, uh, fuck you. You're a criminal. I do not speak with you uh, to you with any friendly rapport. I hate you. Please just let me walk. Bro. <laughs> I, I am not letting you walk. I will give you half time served for a guilty plea. That's what I'll do. Half. God, he's so fair. 
I'm fucking fat. <laughs> it's only 13 <laughs> minutes, Zuki. Thir 13 minutes. You know how long 13 minutes is when you've been fucking on the train for eight hours? Do you know how long 13 minutes? I woke up at the gas station and you freaks arrest me. <laughs> Let me fucking walk. What's your PayPal number? My what? The your PayPal number, the 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 cool one that floats above your head sometimes if you think really hard about it. Eight five eight. Is it is it eight five eight? Yeah, I'm willing to cut you guys a deal. Okay. I will let you guys walk, and no one will murder cops. Wait, you to to be sure you said eight five eight, right? What my what? Eight five eight. Okay. How much is the fine? How much is it? I can't be able to go to jail for. Oh. Uh, is uh, is one thousand six hundred twenty dollars. Okay, and how long? Thirteen months. Uh, it looks like uh, Bobby is in there. Okay, okay, I'll take full time. Full time. Twenty six. I'll take the full time. And uh, do you plead guilty? <laughs> guilty to being British, not guilty to giving a fuck. All right, Zakid, go fuck yourself. Enjoy prison. I'm gonna see you and kill you, by the way. No, genuine <laughs> criminal press. You're both there. Hold on. I want to check something. Disgusting moonshiners. Mm -mm. Mm. Should we put out a warrant for criminal threats and go arrest him when he gets out of the prison? Or is that too much? Mm -mm. One for now, pending review. <clears throat> uh, he's like a cartoon villain. I'm not too concerned about him. Hey, you know what a doink is? Uh, the Doink Squad. Wait. Text Bobby, you sent someone to prison? Uh, vehicle got uh, refueled. Probably still need to go to Mosley's, though. Alright. Where's the car? Uh, oh, I see it. <laughs> I, I also got a... Uh, Slacks told me to lower it by half. Yeah, Serax, who, you know. Although, uh, technically, I will point out, Lenny Son, that uh, the chief in front of Serax, who said, we don't have a standard for vehicles yet, so we can't tell them to abide by a standard that doesn't exist. All right, we're not going to change it then. <laughs> right, we'll do it when they release the standards. Because we follow the rules. Yeah, we're rules boys. Right. Yeah, the... I, I kind of want to bring the wheels in. Uh, no, we're good. We need to go to him, maybe? Go where? No, he's okay. He found a bunch of distilleries somewhere, and then he said I might bravo, so I think he fell down a mountain or something. Guard, four more distilleries up here. What, do you know where he's at? Yeah, he's in the industrial district right next to Elysian Fields on the very Mega south side of Orchard. Well, uh, impor uh, important like interjection. Uh, she asked me if I uh, overheard an exchange, and I said I don't recall. Which, honestly, I didn't even hear. Appreciate you, Cap. Mr. Guard, make that six Greetings. more. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, Do you need fixed? So, let's see here. Yeah. Looks like it, uh... Would you call yourself a master mechanic? I'm, yeah, I would call myself a master mechanic. That guy says that I'm one of the best mechanics he's ever seen. All right, I'll do a one across, please, ma'am. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Valerie. You can call me Val. Val? I'm Lenny Hug. Your name? Hi, Lenny. Nice being you. You too. Yeah. yeah. Um, one across, gonna be 1950 for this one. Understood. Oh, no, sorry, 1650. Understood. Uh, 
Hello point, thanks for something. Why ban him for that? Wait, who got who got banned? The crim <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> Look at stream. <laughs> the fuck is that thing? What? Oh, Holy fuck! <laughs> I'm afraid if I drive into that, I might just get stuck. No, it's it's just, solid. You it's solid. Thank God, oh hey! Thank God, you're here, Wade. Man? Because if I have been the only one to see oh. this and no one believed me, I would have lost my shit. It's like a motorcycle. Yeah, so it makes sense. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's a bike now. I can join like a motorcycle club. Yeah, advertise Isn't yourself cool? in the yellow pages. You can join a motorcycle club. That's crazy. <laughs> cool. Cool. Nice hat, Lenny. That's cool. Thanks. Hi, Lenny. Cool. Hi. Yeah. All right. See it's you. me, Noir Hat. <laughs> can you wheelie in this bad boy? Uh, I can survive. Barely. I think that's pretty close to doing a wheelie. Fair. Ooh, ooh, I got a question for you, officer. So, here's some backstory. I'm trying to join a gang, and I need references. You barely know me, so I think you'll be a great reference. I'm listening. Continue. All right. Would you uh, pretend to be a reference for me? I have my video. I have my phone, my phone over here pointed at you. Sure. All right. Perfect. All right. Can you just just randomly spout on stuff and things about how I would be a great addition to the guild? What is the? Which is a gang? They're a gang. Yeah. Uh, it's, use, it's more use of creativity. Like a, I don't want to. I don't want to help you join a gang. It, it's more like a. Th think of it as like a a, a wow gang. Group of friends. Not like a we're gonna shoot the cops kind of gang. It's like a group of friends. Yeah. Think of it as a club. Okay. Uh, con okay. Continue. All right. <laughs> how about uh, you introduce yourself? So, uh, how long have you been doing this for? Uh, policing? Probably about, like, a year <laughs> total. <laughs> oh, right, policing, yeah. Um, that's what it meant. Uh, okay, um, you know, just, just randomly spout on mumble jumbo about, uh, how good I am at right, stuff and yeah, things. Right. That'd be great. Some pros. I don't know what you do. And avoid the cons. I exactly, just make it up. That'd be perfect. I'm not gonna lie for you. You, you, you look like a homeless guy. You got your stupid fucking boot, okay? You're not even wearing hey, two you, shoes. You, you, got one, you got one boot on, dude. That's crazy. You, I swear. I, you, you just don't question him. Your tie. We're, 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 how is this even connected around your body? I don't get it. It's a fancy clip-on. It's a normal tie, but I kind of like transmogified into a clip-on. It, it was a lot of work. Tell you what, I, 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 will, I will vouch for you. If you go, get changed, get a second shoe. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll get a second shoe. Good. Fucker. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a lot of space. I need everybody be with like I need everybody be twenty meters away from this thing. Why? 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 <laughs> what is he doing? Holy fuck! I can't even. What the hell was that? It's a motorcycle. Oh, that's a motorbike. <laughs> Jesus. Is that a new brand? Do you, uh, is everything done, ma'am? Yeah, you're all good. Yeah, I think you're missing an officer. I don't know where the how he went. No, nah, he's doing Overwatch right now. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, he's playing Overwatch in the office. Doing Overwatch. Oh. Also, sir, you're. Uh, I don't like that game. You you sound very fucked up right now, sir. Verbally. Verbally fucked. Cause I fucked your mom last night. 
Okay, you sound a little bit better now. Yeah. Okay. But I, I, do, I, I do hate your voice, though. Let's be clear about that. What the yuck, man? You hate my voice? Yeah. You know what? What? I hate yours, too. Fine. And you're very, oh. very ugly. Okay. I mean, did you fall from the ugly tree and hit every branch of the way down? Get out ah! of my face. <laughs> Get out of my face, clown. He's, are you clown sis, huh? Yeah, I What's am. What's your I name? Am. Officer Lenny Hawk. What's Huck. your name? What, what, did you, okay. what, what did you go talk to water? Chatterbox about who I am? I fucked his wife. And then I laughed yeah. at him for her being dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you know he killed her, right? Yeah, because she fucked me. <laughs> I also shot him in the head. God. Oh, hey, Lenny, oh you have a huge spider by the way. No. Oh. Also, you're kind of loud, yeah. just so you know. <laughs> Declan! He's nuts. Declan! Thank you, ma'am. Bye, Lenny. Oh, Goodbye. Hello. Wow, a silver fox. Love me lifted SUV. Holy fuck! <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. That guy wanted me oh, to. There's BBMC. Where? Oh, right over here. What are they doing? Those two, the convoy. Oh, and there's three of them. They're following the black cars. Yeah. This must be where they hang out. See, they're all here. It's all of them. He advised Hawk and I have eyes on a BBMC convoy or meetup or something. They're at the uh, little space right off of uh, Innocence and Jamestown behind this yellow building. Sir Hawk? Parking lot with Hi. Six cars. Ooh, is this a bad time? No. People are running at you. What the actual fuck is that thing? It's a motorbike. I'm talking about Lenny's face. Oh, fuck you, Riv, Puff. I want you to know. Oh, fuck you. I, you know, <laughs> I love you so much right now, Riv. Holy what the I got my Reliant oh, really Robin back. It's only been seven cars. years. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I ain't gonna let Axe look cool, though. I'm so Yay. happy for you. Looks like a bike. Hey, hold on. Don't pull that up on me. I'll bite it off. Stop. Don't make me bite it. No, no, no. No, watch this. I've been practicing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, Lenny. Baka. Hey. See? It means honored friend. No, it means fool. I looked it up. I'm not a fool. You know Baka means fool or foolish, right? No. It's a tail. looks like a fish that's been left out in the sun for a month. You're Australian. Damn. <laughs> Fucking art by him, cunt. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drew Blue. What are you guys doing over here? Looking at that thing? Over here? No, in the uh, parking lot over there. Oh, in my hey, hey guys. Hey, Kaba. Hey. What you guys doing? Chilling. We're just Wait, hanging out at Jace's house. Open. What are you doing? Uh, just trying are to avoid legal? trying to avoid talking to the guy behind me. <laughs> what? Hey, What's that? stop! What? Get I'm out of there! I'm kicking around. I'm just kicking around. Just I'm feeling these me. tires out. They are legal. Are they? <laughs> Technically, uh, they're very, very legal, legal to me. Legal. Oh, okay. get, get out from under there! Uh oh! Do not, uh -oh. do not uh -oh. touch uh -oh. my hood. Hey, I'm Lenny, have sure you ever read smart oh. books? No. Do you wanna? No. Do you wanna read? All right, fuck you guys, okay? I fuck hate you. all of you. <laughs> too chaotic. Yeah, too much. Honestly, if all of them pulled out bats and hit our car at the same time, we'd probably be stranded. Yep. Where does Wild Oats drive? It's up in the hills. It's uh, by Didion and Cocking End, that area. Wild Oats is one of the roads that's south of Marlow. Is 
South of the Marlow, but north of the, uh, like, you know, encroaching area. Okay. Maybe it's placebo, but I do feel like it, this turns a little bit better. Uh, it felt the same to me, I don't know. But also, I haven't been driving as much as so I, I genuinely don't have, like, a good feel for comparison. Also, we're stuck on first gear when we get to Sandy. Alright, sounds good. I think that Wild Oats call, I didn't actually go to Wild Oats. Yeah, it's up in Polito. Weird. There's two or three calls right around Gentry Lane, right at the, the old Rooster's Rest. And there's some in the hills. I'm gonna clear my, my dispatch. Today the day we finally catch someone up in Polito. God, I hope so. I want to execute the plan tonight, by the way. What plan? Oh, I don't yeah. know how late you're going to be around. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be around for that, of course. Let's 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 stick around after the storm and then immediately get in separate cars and go stake out 37 Charlie locations. Sounds good. Just arrest these tsunami rushing assholes. At the meeting last night, I'm not exaggerating, there were 20 uh, alerts that came in through dispatch in the first 25 minutes. All of them were 37 Charlie. It's a fucking plague. Dispatch show 178 operating under 176, 176 code 6, Polito for 37. What's the 37 Charlie for? It's money laundering. Does anyone know what a Cincamilla car is? I think it's like a, uh, I think it might, I think it might be like a slip back. Yeah, Cincamilla is a four door type of sedan. How do you think? It's like a like a nineties Jaguar. It's got the really ugly front grill. A box in extra something? Glad those guys disappeared or looks at trash. <laughs> I realized as I was saying nineties anything that some of these people weren't born yet. Yep. Oops. Young ones. Where uh oh yeah, the parking spots on the uh PD. Like it's on the sidewalk, as we discovered. Yep. Happy birthday, Moon Moon? Thanks, bro. What about your rather lengthy oh, username? Bravo, You were born in the 90? Olga? Me too, man. Me too, bruv. They steal your turbo? They can't take the turbo unless it's at Mosley's, guys. Once again. Vishy Vish, thanks for seven. Hopefully that goes well. Hopefully they're not cunts. You stole the turbo? Wrong. Back to normal. Hey.
fuck is a Nami? Maybe like Vietnami? Hmm. Maybe Nami from Liga Lagandes? Oh, new skip learned. Okay. I pulled out of there. Yeah, I didn't know you could break that. Oh, I know why I didn't know that. Why? Uh, that used to be a hospital. And, uh, it used to be blocked off in certain places. Is that car parked in the alley up there? Uh, which way? It's a little suspicious. Uh, behind us. And then, if you look left as you drive slowly this way, you're right about What's here. Look at that. Or sign yeah, it is a little alley thing. Oh, yeah. I should investigate that. That thing's stuck. 1062. See what anything is. Welfare check me in like two mics, please. Ah! If I'm this will start a you in two minutes. Checking the dumpsters, nice. Hipster Scott, thanks for something. Winter sold out, thanks for something. Just clear. Someone must have got it stuck trying to drive through there. How'd they even get it in there to begin with? Yeah, they're probably sending it, coming around the corner, and the momentum carried them to a certain point. Why is there. Okay. Uh, go up here to the left. Look at this blue car. Is this 1060? Uh, probably not. It is. Okay, then some, uh, maybe we shouldn't focus on that. What? Uh. Is that a ballista? No, that's like a... That's a ballista. Yeah, this is a ballista. Hi. What's up? Hi, hey, Jason. Nothing? Hello. Uh, I just, so, uh, look, uh, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't investigate that, but every time I've been in Polito the last week, there's been a car parked in that exact parking spot, usually the same model as that one, and they've all been 1060. Yeah, I've got, I've experienced that too. I've definitely inbounded it like once or twice. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe that's just someone's favorite parking spot. They so ditch all their stolen cars there. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, yeah. son. Yeah. We shouldn't assume. Target spotted. Fuck her down. Double kill. I fucking missed. Right. you on free? Are these cars parked on the grass over here? Dead 60. Nice. Dispatch, no 176 in pursuit of a 1060 baller southbound Great Western Highway passing the hunting lodge. It was black in color, unknown number of occupants. I think two. Continuing southbound Great Western Highway, potentially two occupants, unknown at this time. Sending it southbound Great Western Highway. We're at the S Bend now. He goes 1050, you almost rolled, still mobile. It's not worth it, Bacchus, give it up. They are still sending it southbound Great Ocean Highway in E77. Hey, look at that. It is uh, the baller that just pinged off at that 37 call. We caught it leaving Polito. 
continuing southbound Grayson Highway crossing <laughs> over the bridge. You're down the radio. Dispatch show 176 attempting to catch up to a black color baller. Flag from the latest 37. They are evading from us. Active 1080 southbound Great Ocean Highway. Any 77s? I'm bad too. It was occupied two times. Continue southbound. I was on channel 2 on accident. Ooh. Continuing One, three, three, southbound. 10 4. We're entering the Zancudo Tunnel now. Once again, this is a black baller, flag 1060, leaving a 37 call in Toledo. They are evading at a high rate of speed southbound through the tunnel at St. Cuda. Exiting the tunnel now, crossing the bridge over the swamp, still southbound Great Ocean Highway. Is the vehicle description? Black in color, baller, two times occupied, flag 1060. It is the same baller from the latest 37 in Toledo. Still is continuing southbound Great Ocean Highway. 160, show me try to catch up to the speed of the vehicle. He's about the cars now. Uh, dispatch, can we get a channel for this 80 with the baller? It seems like we have three or four units attached. Oh my god. Okay, by, continuing southbound Great Ocean Highway, passing the ammunition. Channel 2 up to 1080 with the baller. And forward, transition channel 2. Continuing comms on the Black Baller southbound Great Ocean Highway, parallel to the Great Ocean Fleeca, approaching the unit, is waiting at the corner. Continuing southbound Great it's Ocean Highway. <laughs> Vehicle still sending southbound Great Ocean Highway back towards Bay City Incline. Approaching the restaurant and West Clips turnoff, passing both of them, merging to Bay City Incline. Incorrect lanes, Bay City Incline, driving towards the city. One, two, three, Continuing. back into Erie. Roy southbound, Bay City Oh, Four, vehicle hit a pole, hit it. Continuing eastbound, Boulevard Del Perro. One from lanes left, northbound, Liberty. Right, eastbound, Cougar. Left, northbound, Prosperity. Right, eastbound, West Eclipse. Right, southbound, North Rockford. Be advised, they are on the phone. Continuing south, Rockford, southbound. 50 still mobile left, eastbound, Boulevard Del Perro. Status? Uh, we're Ocean Gang. Continuing south, Boulevard Del Perro. Still eastbound. Right, southbound, Madway Thunder. Left, eastbound, Eastbourne Way. Continuing east on Eastbourne Way, behind the old courthouse. Approaching Howick, right eastbound Howick. Right, southbound, San Vitus. Uh, uh, status of PBS. Uh, there's 1050 or something. Oh my god, the headaches. These guys are teleportation, no jutsuing. Be careful, they're check, dark magic. Check right. the, uh, they westbound. Just, check right for us. Oh, never mind, we're good. They just asked blasted of the hoi and got straight into the city, yeah? Right, westbound. Oh, they, 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 yes. They, yes. they, uh, they. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna authorize, I'm gonna authorize PBS to yeah, sure they just wipe the civilian out. Continuing westbound right, northbound. We start Which way. Which way to say, right? Like, er, continuing northbound, we start way. Approaching South Boulevard Del Perro, left, westbound, South Boulevard Del Perro. Merging westbound Boulevard Del Perro proper. Fit it into a pole. There appears to be a female with a red Fuck bikini you, top. Don't a guy in a red hell, flat top is the best. Box it, box it, box it. We can get a box here. Box here. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, Brian. Boys, come on. Westbound, Boulevard, No Perro. All right, try to keep those three on the road. All right. Hi. They are on the phone, probably going for pickup or swap. Westbound, Boulevard, No Perro. One of them sounds Australian. Confirmed, Erwin Dundee. Hi. 
Left southbound, Bay City Ave. Left eastbound, Marathon. The other one looks approved day or earlier. She was wearing the same shirt. Wait. Right southbound, South Rockford by the Coral Garage. So continuing southbound. Making the left turn, continuing southbound oncoming lanes, North Rockford. Merging onto South Rockford, stand by. Left, eastbound Palomino past the apartments. Merging northbound Palomino into Little Seoul. Somehow we got in front of them, Australian no jutsu, continuing northbound Palomino. Their dark magic is powerful, any son. Indeed. Continuing northbound over San Andreas, over Del Perro, still north Palmito. Right, eastbound Norset. Right, southbound. Uh, Capital Boulevard, Alta Street, rather. We are, do we already have a chase on this channel? We already have Sorry, a chase on this channel. Continuing south, Las Lagunas. Right, westbound, San Andreas, left. Red garage pickup, red garage pickup. Yep, La Puerta, they're going La Puerta, they're going La Puerta. One's on La Puerta. Okay. Get to Innocence. Which way they facing La Puerta, brother? Uh, uh, south. Southbound, southbound, southbound. southbound. Description? They're go it's an intruder looking car, very low sedan. Black in color, black low to the ground. Lower La Puerta, southbound, lower La Puerta, southbound. Female had the stolen goods in her hands, by the way. She had the box with her. Hey, uh, other guys right here watching us, by the way. Do you know if they took over or lower? Lower. They went lower. Stand by. Might have it. Stand by. You good? Be advised the passenger was sitting behind the driver in a line on the driver's on the driver's side. Hey, Ferb. Let's stick on that. The driver is uh is gonna be handled here. Got secondary, we're eastbound, San Andreas with that uh, low sedan, I don't know what kind of model it is. Right, southbound, LT. Okay, primary. And four, passing one safe on the right, right, westbound, Vespucci. Careful, they may be approaching your scene, unknown, stand by. They're approaching the front of the red garage. They're taking the red garage northbound. Careful in your scene, Cornwood, heads up. Crossing through right, eastbound San Andreas, left, northbound Las Lagunas. Driving in oncoming lanes again. Cornwood, get spikes ready at red, okay? Sending it northbound, a Milton Parkway towards the old courthouse. Passing the old courthouse, still northbound. These buckets are gonna get the force lightning, no juice. Westbound, South Boulevard, Del Perro. Gonna get that in a cop term, please. I'm gonna tase them on foot. Okay, no problem. Merging on the Boulevard Del Perro. Stand by, 22 last westbound Dorset. Oncoming lanes. Going into the tennis court alley around. Sending it all, all the way west, all the way west. We're out on, uh, stand by. We're on Morningwood. Now out on Rockford. We're southbound on Rockford. Heavy traffic on Boulevard Perro. Sending it all the way south on Rockford. Stand by going into the movie set eastbound. Into the movie set eastbound. Coming out of the movie set, in my direction. Still eastbound. Approaching Dorset. Passing Dorset. Eastbound Eastbourne Way behind the old courthouse. Right. Southbound, on the sidewalk and oncoming lanes, Rockford. Left, eastbound, parser way in front of the old courthouse. Continuing east towards Rockford Plaza. Entering Rockford Plaza, stand by direction, going out to the east, continuing east. Just struck a local, still mobile, still in oncoming lanes. Left, northbound, Alta. Hit no jutsu, still mobile, westbound, Hawick. 
Passing Rockford Plaza to the north, westbound direction. Left, southbound. Right. Attempting to go through an alleyway, they failed. I think it's they're, rock they're solid. Box right there. Oh, they're backing out. U turning, southbound sound Vitus, entering Rockford Plaza to the east. Left, exiting at the north, exiting at the north. Exiting onto Howick, stand by, right, eastbound. Oncoming lanes. Oh, I'm gonna have to drop to parallel. 10 4. Oncoming lanes, northbound Las Lagunas, speed pitted. Still mobile. Hello. Hello. Backing up. Now eastbound on Spanish. Oh, oh, good. Keep oh. going eastbound. Spanish Ave. Good hit. Successful. Oh, we might be looking for a box here. Uh, they are reversing westbound on Spanish now. Left. Trying to go left into an alleyway, disregard right northbound, North Archer. Hit it, very nice pit. Still mobile, eastbound Eclipse. Continuing eastbound Eclipse. Right here, Jack. Head to right, southbound, Alta. How spikes west Spanish? Step four. Continuing past Spanish, going down towards occupation, passing Howick and occupation, sending it straight southbound. Straight south, still Alpha Street, about to cross the Spucci. Guarantee they've uh, probably have a swap line up right now. All the way south. Continuing southbound lane of travel all the way. We're passing the salvage yard. Approaching Maze Bank. Looping to the east and north to Davis. Past Maze Bank. Pit. Vehicle pitted. Still mobile. Northbound Davis. Eastbound Davis. He braked at the perfect time. That would have sent his ass. <laughs> eastbound Davis Ave. Breaking I'm not here. Down. Someone has I got out. Rate. She doesn't have the boxes. They're in the car. She doesn't have them. They're in the car. We're going to stay on the car if, you, if you're good there. We need a 77 next to Mosley's on uh, 133's location. I'm here. Vehicles on Forum northbound. We're continuing. Take Poke Bell Com. Okay, I'm going to stay mobile. Keep calling uh, for Bill Combs right now. Hey, uh, we got a 95, by the way. Uh, the driver of that original Hi, vehicle. Status on McNulty. Uh, Motion King, still put. Hey, keep put Bill Combs. Uh, going southbound toward Parallel Covenant. We have 185, keep comes on the... Uh, then for, okay, let's get 77s on the pursuit now, as soon as that 95 is transitioned. We're westbound, the merger from Popular back to Olympic. One for one. Vehicle one is one. now eastbound, Olympic Freeway transitioning to Popular standby, 22 last, Elysian Field southbound. Stop, they give me a little landmark when you can. About to exit towards Innocence. Disregard, still on Elysian Field south, passing Innocence. Passing Orchardville District, we're approaching the end of the oil field toward the bridges. Copy. Sending full south Elysian fields towards the bridges. Stand by. We're at the bend, turning west. Was staying on. Disregard last. Left. On to El Burro Boulevard, above the oil fields. Stand by off-road in the oil fields. Heading east in the oil field. Stand by for direction. 
still east, northeast, and through the oil fields. Continuing out, spinning out, in the oil fields now, facing westbound. Eagle Pitted still mobile. Right, northbound, Legion Fields Freeway. This vehicle's open for PPS. Northbound, Legion Fields, potentially exiting, stand by, disregard back onto the freeway. Ten four, sending it straight northbound, Legion Fields. Continuing, we are underneath the Olympic interchanges, passing them. Spucci and San Andreas now oncoming lanes, Legion Field merging Del Perro Freeway westbound. Continuing oncoming lanes, Del Perro westbound, passing the LS Freeway interchanges. Staying in oncoming lanes, Del Perro westbound, passing old pillbox. Passing the lower power skip, continuing westbound. Approaching La Puerta, taking the La Puerta interchange towards La Puerta south, oncoming lanes upper. Now southbound, oncoming lanes, La Puerta, merging correct lanes, upper La Puerta, southbound, 22 last, taking the jump down to San Andreas. What is the construction? In the they construction site, they made it in. Stand the by. Construction. I'm going to sit right here, you go inside. 10-4. We got eyes on the vehicle, it's out. Down. It's out right, to the right. south. Metal right, metal right. Nope, he's out to the end, he's out to the end, what he's on. He's, he may be stuck, ditching, stuck. Is he on the freeway? He's on foot. Um, he's, he's back in the car. He took off. Trying to exit. Stay, stay late, it's not going for it, go for it. Ah! I'm gonna come inside. Did you guys really taste my tire? That's so fucked Got up. Got him boxed. Honestly, that's so fucked up. Real quick, listen, boys, boys, boys. Hold on, T pause, 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 pause. Let's Not think good. about this rationally. Follow now, the comms, there's a lot of ways suspect. that this could play out, right? Declan. But I uh, think he's uh, monologuing. Hold on. I think I think I think it's best for all of us that we. <laughs> <Let's try laughs> I doubt he meant to taste this tire. Miss Tackle, I'm gonna mobile right now. <sighs> He's running, Stop he's running. down to cross lower. I will run all I want to! Stop running! I'll run all I want to! <laughs> you can't catch me! I'm too fast! No! Yes, sir! Uh, I'm too he's fast! He's wearing a black shirt, has a black backpack, black pants, uh, white shoes, uh, white and black hat, and glasses and a <laughs> bandana <laughs> mask. Can you describe yourself like you just described me? Handsome, inbred, fast. Damn! <laughs> Crazy takes. <laughs> Crazy takes, honestly. Taking the stairs down to the back side of the hotel that attaches the old apartments. Yep, I We're see out through a parking lot, out onto Alta, now northbound. What if I don't? What if I don't stop, huh? I'm going back to my cop car right now. What if I don't stop? Ha. Ah. Go for, go for ah. cuffs, go for cuffs. Ah. Nice helmet? No. Hey. No, you can't have them. They're mine. They're my hands. There are many like it, but these are mine. Continuing eastbound, crossing Alta, trying to get inside car, failed. You better stop. What if I don't stop? <laughs> I've been given no <laughs> options on what happens if I don't stop. Back. I'm just being told to stop. Oh, okay, that's fine. What the hell? Yep, I'll take it. Uh, we, take those. we take those. We take those. We take those. Listen, listen, guys, guys. What if I, what if I, what if I want to hang out with coming. the train, huh? What if I want to hang out with Don't, the train? Do not get hit by the train. Hey, I'm ordering you not to get hit by the train. Yeah, Mr. Mr. On the radio, stereo, the way you move. Right, 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 way right, you sir, you're going to get run over by a train. <laughs> I got feet. I'm fucking. I'm hoofing it. I'm out of crazy. Lanes. I'm warning you. You're gonna get run over. I don't want to. I'm. I don't want to tase him. Middle. I probably won't get run over. We're continuing. Yeah, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be crazy? Tunnels. Wouldn't it be crazy if like Craig, he got careful. run over by the train after we warned him? <laughs> Baka. <laughs> 
195. Can you take me, can you take me back to my car, sir? Not to run yes. I, I definitely... I, I waited to tase him because I did not want him to, me to be the reason he got ran over by the train. <laughs> that would have been fucked up. <laughs> Let's go, Kip. Going pretty well, how are you, Ken? Not Lenny, so Lenny. Kenny. Did you call me uh, Kitten? <laughs> no, Kenny, Kenny. Kenny. I don't know why I was thinking about Kenny. Oh, have you seen Kenny actually? Yeah, I saw him once or twice. Uh, where has he been? He, he applied to the PD. I was in an interview. Never, never showed up. He didn't show up to his interview? What a piece of fucking shit. Our stepfathers would be displeased. Anonymous, thanks for gifting 10 million subs. I gotta document go. this car. Fuck. Cycling status. Uh, just escorting him out of the train tunnel. Can someone jump Copy. up and get 52s? I'll go back in channel one. Oh. We are bringing the original 95, Rue Day, 76 MRPD, 195. 10 4. So we should have everyone, right? We have the original driver, her, and now him. 395, all the cars. 10 4. Uh. Did she have anything on her, sir? Um, bait? Quickly in the car. Negative. Quickly in the car that uh, he bailed out of, Lenny. I know that. I just want to make sure. My, my radio broke for a second there. 395s? Three ninety fives. Good shit. We got we got the driver of the original vehicle. Oops. That's some shit, the, uh... shit right there, boys. Good, what good ass job. What is that from? Boy, this, is a, this was a flag 1060 vehicle from Polito that was uh, 37 cold. Okay, sure. Boys is a blanket term for the group, regardless of gender. Hi. I stand by that. All right, good shit, ladies. <laughs> no, good but that's good. different. Come on. Good shit, shift two. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Hey, hey, good oh, shit, yeah. PD. Good shit, PD. Yeah. Shift two, yeah. That's a hard one. Uh, right here. License plate is like partially obscured. <laughs> Nothing in the trunkaroo. Nice hello box, Big M. It's a lot of rolled cash in here, buddy. Yo, yeah, it's on, um... The stolen goods probably are in the glove box of that car, I would guess. No box, just uh, 2.3k of rolled cash. Okay, well... Uh, there's no box in the... anything? Negative. She didn't have anything. Uh, McNulty? Go for McNulty? You're female 95. Did she have stolen goods on her? Get out. Okay, well, something happened then. Let's race here because I saw her when she got out of the original crashed out SUV at the uh, red garage. She was holding a box in her hands. Had the box in her hands in the SUV, the ball, or the original car. And then she got into that little sedan. Lost it, maybe. Maybe. I, I don't remember seeing them throw anything. Maybe when we VCB very briefly. Did she did she VCB you on the foot chase at all? Mm -mm. McNulty. Sorry, go from I'm just talking to Ruby. She VCB you on the foot chase at all? Negative. No, not in the slightest. Uh, what I'll do for you I is I'll double no I'll idea back. where it could be then. I'll double back there, see, because I tackled her, taste a few times, so I'll look around and see if she uh, tossed it. I, I mean, she it's definitely her. It's definitely the same sedan that she got into. And she had the box in her hands when she got out of the baller and got into the sedan on the board. Then. That's why I, I was certain that it would be in that sedan, either in the trunk or the glove box. Uh... Bow. 
Finley mother flipping Milton, dude. What's your 20? Just add some pictures. Okay, so think of, of spots that uh, that car VC beat us at all, Lenny. Maybe he threw it in the oil fields when he did that U turn, you think? No, he wasn't there long enough to be able to do that. Okay, was was the girl not carrying them when she got out of the car? Because that's what it looked like. Not on the she on the first foot bell, yes. On the second one, no. That's why the goods were in the the small the small sedan. Okay. okay. So, Did you guys document the baller? So the baller pooped on us. That's how, that's what we called him. Uh, I don't think, you was, think maybe. Maybe she didn't have a box in her hands. That's so, that's what I think is happening. You want to ask her, just so we can clear this up, ask her if she had stuff in her hands when she got out or not, because maybe we were seeing things. Uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that both of us thought... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, because she's going to say no, probably. I, I just don't want to, you know, waste our time for looking if the shit's going to the ether beyond all of our control. Right. The baller actually poof? I missed that. Uh, you guys, uh, still the total? We're right at the exit of the tunnel. He's getting medical now. Well, uh, I do have this rolled cash. Yeah, 10-4, I mean... What's this guy's name? Mason Calloway. I don't, I don't know what to... She says, uh, hypothetically in Minecraft, a very legal cardboard box would have been, uh, would have been. What? Is she saying, like, it was in her hands or not? She's saying yes. Okay. Then it definitely disappeared or was thrown sometime in the chase. We need to retra retrace that. Give me a location. Yeah. I can I can rewrite that. With uh, are you writing, Lenny? Uh, one tree tree uh, and Archer. I'm code sixing where we had the foot bail. So let me drive for a second. I just want to check the oil field. That'll be. Um, do it. I don't care either way. Around the Colvin and Grove area. All right, I'm gonna go check the oil field just in case, because we VCB for a second, and he did a weird U-turn. It's possible he just chucked out the window at the same time. Thanks, well, I could have that way right now. Would you I, I, I checked the construction site. I didn't Let's see anything well. as well. Hey, uh, Wait, could you, I could, could you just get so, our, our 95 to the MRP and I'll meet you there? Absolutely, it'd be my pleasure. I know exactly where the spot is. This is a different play. Document the swap car, document it both, Billy. Right here. Six five I. Looks like we got the Oh, right here. Right here. So many stolen cars, so little freaking time. Uh, so I 
Trace back the steps back on Covenant. Nope. Yeah, I'm checking the oil fields right now. I mean, is it possible they threw it out when she first got in the car and we VCB'd originally, right? Ten. I'm asking, is it possible that um, when when they got into the car originally on La Puerta and we all lost eyes for a minute, they threw it then? Where did you, uh, where did you gain eyes on them again? So... I um, I saw them stick to Upper La Porta, southbound. They took the large um, off ramp to go southbound. Uh, Olympic took the Elgin exit. So they, if they threw it at the top of the um, the curve down to South Olympic, it could be anywhere. So yeah. I'll go six around and see what I can do. We might be, uh, maybe just be shit out of luck. I mean, we can keep looking, but. Or a route, since she wasn't a driver, Wait. and all we have right now is just a box with unknown content. Is she just getting charged with resisting, and that's all? Rue was the driver. Yeah. No, 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 no. Rue was the driver of the original baller. Oh, yeah, she was the driver of the baller. She was the oh. original driver of the baller. Oh, copy. All right. Yeah, I called Very out during the chase reckless. the female with the red bikini top. Yay, fair, my fair. Copy. So, so yeah, no possession. Um, and then for for Finley Milton, he has a warrant, so we'll serve the warrant. And for him, it's just resisting. Did he do anything else? The uh, no, he was the jacket. passenger of the baller. Right. Evading. Why evading? He was the passenger in a vehicle, and he had a warrant. Yeah, that's resisting. What? Resisting is being a passenger in a vehicle. Lenny, Declan, are you fine with Rue just getting charged, reckless, joyriding, and resisting? Uh, if she has a lockpick on her, and the, then the charger with tampering. Well, actually, no, it disappeared. We, we don't have a tampering result. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, she 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 didn't have any uh, lockpicks on her either. Temport sounds good then. Whoa. Do you still want me to push joyriding if you're so sorry? We don't you're right. have the vehicle yes. document? Alright. Yes, push joyriding. We have the plate read and everything. It's not our fault the local people took it. Ah, that's what happened? Yeah, copy. Alright. What is this? It's nothing now. <laughs> it's trash. I'm just doing my civic duty. So he said they took La Puerta upper onto Olympic and then took the Elgin exit. God, man, they could have literally thrown it fucking anywhere. Be like anywhere in the grass down below us. One four one and route two, Michelle Pity with one ninety five. Ten four seventy six to join you. I'm gonna give up on trying to find this box. I have no idea where it is. Was it a uh, Grove Street? I think it's Grove Street. Grove Street. One four one, I'm going to pull. Michelle, PD, 195. 
Special 176107 MRPD processing by mics. Uh, 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 uh. We're at a MRP at the parking spot, Lenny, if you want to park it up. All right. However, the impeccable prowess of 176 Elhawk allowed for him to quickly, much like a bird of prey, swoop in and discover that the driver, a uh, stolen black sedan, had cornered itself in the construction site. Careful execution. Once of Elhawk executed a solo box upon the stolen sedan, at which point the suspect took off on foot and fled toward Alta Street. Mr. Elhawk and other officers witnessed suspect Mason Calloway run into the train tunnels beside Alta Street, where officers repeatedly warned. Mason Calloway that a train was coming and that he should be very careful. Suspect Mason Calloway ignored direction from officers and proceeded to be run over violently by the train that was coming in question. Medical was called for suspect Mason Calloway. And he was treated on scene prior to being escorted to Crusade Medical for further treatment. It was then transported to MRT for processing. Hooray! We're gonna keep this money. <laughs> And by keep it, I mean put it in an evidence locker and never see it again. LOL, into the fucking void, you are banished. <laughs> Why am I so articulate in my reports? Because it would be really fucking annoying for me out of character to write it any other way. And it's already busy work that is 99% of the time never referenced or seen again. So I write it in a way that's most comfortable for me so that I don't have to spend extra time dumbing myself down. <laughs> uh, yeah, but in character, we'll say, we say that copper taught us, that's right. That's why we're so good at it. We're celebrating Patty's Day tomorrow? I think, I think uh, my family is doing something. Also, Anonymous, thanks for gifting 20 subs again, dude. Appreciate that. Big Obscura, Adroth, The Big Boy Gamer, Nalf, Storm Chaser, Gore Miser, Brett MV, Execute, Watermelons, Mercy, Thunder God, thanks for subbing, Shooting Blank, FPS, and The Beekeeper. It's a long chase. There's also a roleplay that indicates that Lenny is a shadow writer Sorry for infobattle.org. Info right. Hey, Lenny. Hey, Jimbo. Uh -huh. Whoa, what is happening? Rue, just listen. Rue, uh, just listen. They just freed listen. us. Well, you're still, oh, you're still under Hi. 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 You do a pretty good me, son. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> not your dad. Yeah, like, you said son. Well, yeah, so said but dad. it's not like a familial thing it's, it's like a diminutive a, yeah well i wasn't saying it as a familial thing it's like I've, little pup pip good I, I would I would, bro i would fucking hate if you were my dad okay. yeah did you already read him his charges declan if we have to enter the cell, no. no all right right now you are facing joyriding reckless evading tampering with a vehicle resisting arrest and possession of dirty money in the second degree for a total of 49 months and two thousand four hundred thirty dollars damn uh, I would like a lawyer. Okay. Hi. Oh, we never still bought a phone yet. God damn it. I got it. Also, yeah, I forgot. All right. 
I mean, I did too. Mm -mm -mm. Multiple trial proven legal aid. All right, I guess we're going to call the Acker lad. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Cock. Hi, uh, cell rep for Mesa Calloway. Um, uh, unfortunately, I'm actually going to bed right now. Uh, oh, okay. If there's, if, if there is another care. attorney available. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Did you just, did you just say don't care as you ended that conversation? He said he was going to bed and they started to talk more. And I don't give a shit what he had to say, so I said, don't that care. Is, that is completely fair. <laughs> fuck that noise. Do you think, do you think I was going to, like, deny what, you I a lawyer? I call for fucking small talk? <laughs> By the way, I need a cell rep. How's your day? You want to tell me about it? How's your mom doing? So right now we have uh, Abilene Contralto, who is a legal aide. That's a name? Uh, Yep. And uh, Robin Ferrara, who is also a legal aide. It seems like that's it. Uh, I'm going to do Robin. All right. Hello there. Greetings, Robin. Hello, sir. Officer Lenny Hawk, badge number 176. I got a Mr. Mason Calloway down here requesting a cell rep. Um, okay, sir. That's, uh, what, is your be there. what is your location? Uh, I'm just passing the uh, military base. All right, so you'll be here in about like six minutes. Uh, yes, I'll try to be as quick as I can. Understood. Uh, try to come through the back door. Will do, sir. I always try to come to okay. the back door. Nice. Also, Lenny, son, I'm going to uh, take a CVP angle by a phone. All right, sounds good. Be right back. Yeah, Mason, I'm going to go wait at the back door. As charming company as you are. <laughs> Damn, leaving me alone here. <laughs> yep. With nothing but my thoughts. That's Actually, I got to piss. That's what I'm really doing. Okay. okay. <laughs> you said that. Trying to lie. <laughs> we got time for the uh, before the lawyer gets here. That was a good chase, though. Um, I did a couple of pits that were that turned into rams, not on purpose, and I think Declan missed his tase and popped his tire, which is unfortunate. Uh. That was a good save at the oil field. Yeah, that I've never been, I've never been turned on like that. He didn't hit the tire. Um, no, not turned on, like turned on, like that he did a turn that I've never done before. So for the possession of dirty money, we we approach this from uh, a certain way. Okay. First, we try to charge him with it. Okay. And then they argue it. Um, and if he's like, that's not my money, then that gives us the ability to just keep the money without any further argument, right? Uh, I will be right back. Sure, back. That's if that happens.
Lenny, ew! Ew, dude! Get the fuck out of here! Ew! What the fuck? Put your dick away! Hi. Sorry. I'm here. You take his weapons and his phone? Is that Robin? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, here you go, sir. Here's your client, Mr. Calloway. So, yes, dude. Let us know when you're done uh, talking. Who was sent off, by the way? Someone yelled at me? Ten four. Okay. Someone yelled at me? Okay. Uh, you had him uh, I don't think so. Yep. In case, in case the. Uh, I don't know. Not on radio, at least. Yep. All right. I, I, I wouldn't have would been aggressive with a police officer in my life. Can I know charges my client is facing? Yeah. Yeah, they've been aggressive. Take the cuffs off. Yeah. Right now, he is currently being accused of joyriding, reckless evading, tampering with a vehicle, resisting arrest, possession of dirty money in the second degree, and felony obstruction of justice for a total of 73 months. $3,330 fine. Um, okay, sir. I'll go speak with him. When Rand told you to put your penis away? <laughs> no. Um, you also have a warrant. Watch the clip. Does anyone have it? Any clipper? Smile? Like you with a big shabam? Hey! What the fuck? <laughs> it was Wait, rude. Get your dick away! <laughs> 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 Giving it to someone else. I'd like you to explain to me the breakdown of the What was uh, Finley Milton's warrant for? Uh, the resisting arrest is the fact uh, I don't remember. The vehicle when it was pulling from police would like to be evading. No, you were in the vehicle. Oh, uh, promenade HVAC. Resisting arrest, trespassing, possession of stolen goods. Okay. I see. Put your penis away. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Radio check. 10 2. Yeah. They're ready for a swap. They keep doing the same U turns.
Hey, uh, I need you. Uh, I saw your statement in my investigative report. What about Tessa? Okay. Um, any, any extra details you can add would be good. Okay. I mean, you're. Your report was pretty much spot on, but here, let me let me talk to you a second after I help Xavier out here. Sure, just just, just uh, oh, you're right there. I see you. Yeah, <laughs> howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Hanky, Julius, thanks for subbing. Hello. Come over here. Uh, so, I guess. Okay. So uh, I got the uh, this side of things. What uh, what's your side of uh, this situation? Uh, Mason Callaway pulled up in a stolen vehicle, picked up Rue, uh, felony obstruction. Vehicle was stolen. Joyriding. Vehicle was tampered with. Tampering with a vehicle. Uh, suspect Mason Callaway fled on foot, resisting arrest. And the stolen vehicle was two thousand three hundred dollars uh, rolled cash dirty money uh, we've observed that to be used in uh typically as payment for uh, moonshining uh furthermore the original uh chase did start near a moonshiner spot uh what else Let's see oh this uh in this particular one it's not a moonshine though any son what do you think it was uh this was um most likely uh, stolen goods delivery uh, typically the moonshine runs, the vehicles are not flagged 1060. This one was, but either way, both the delivery of stolen goods and the delivery of moonshine nets the rolled cash, which is the dirty money either way. And then, uh, reckless evaded because he was driving real fast and like an asshole. Hmm. Okay. Right, Baca style. Uh, what did he say? A Baca? Yeah, Baca, like honored friend. Oh, I see. Um, so he's a, his contention is the, uh, well, one of them is the tampering with the vehicle charge. He says that it wasn't found with any lockpicks and it was, uh, already tampered with when he found the vehicle and came into his possession. He's willing to accept the joyriding, but he didn't actually do the, the tampering. Okay, uh, tell him that in exchange for a guilty plea, we'll drop tampering with a vehicle and resisting arrest. Okay, I'll take that to him. Stolen black sedan, tempering proof. Tempering proof. Play some hard bass. I'm about to play some hard bass on your mom's ass. Make Garrick fart, please. I already did, dude. Already freaking did. Salt and battery times two. Make a giga fart. Good fucking idea, lads. Giga. I made her fart like eight times, guys. <laughs> Forgive Lol, thanks for subbing. She's offline. Don't worry, she'll be in chat in a second. Quit shitting yourself! Go to the bathroom! <laughs> no! I don't think they can actually get him out of Vady. Ooh. Finley, they're, they're arguing about it right now. Uh, yeah, wasn't he just the passenger? Yeah. Yeah, son of 80. What? Who's arguing it? Cadet? Why? 
Hey, Cordwood, Xavier, I gotta talk to you about something unrelated real quick. Hey, yeah, but he said he was. You said he was going to tear you your asshole. Hold, hold, That's what he hold said. Hold on, hold on. Um, Finley Milton was just the passenger in that baller, and then the baller disappeared. Um, we can't hit him no. with evading because resisting arrest covers uh, being a passenger in a stolen vehicle or fleeing. No, no, no. He got so, into so the driver's he got in and he on. drove away, and then it disappeared. It's, oh. it's it disappeared as he was driving. And away. he gave us the statement saying he did that. But also, he, I mean, I'll, I'll just tell you the truth here. Yeah. Um. The we're just giving the whole menu here, and then we're ups. we're gonna drop some shit here for the guilty plea. Yeah, it sounds good. Sorry, I I, I didn't yeah. I didn't realize this would happen because we uh, tried to join McNulty like right away. So yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you're all good. That's why I didn't want to send him up right away because I, I didn't know if he did anything else or whatever. That's why that's why I called it out on the radio. Sounds good. Yeah, you guys are doing yeah. a good job. Keep it up. Thank okay. You. Nice uh, holzer bandolier. Oh yeah, thank you. Hell, I'm hopefully, I, mean, I hope everybody can get one of these someday. Be nice. All three of his belts. RGB, thank you again, man. Insane Cyclone, thanks for jumping. Break, you're doing a good job. <laughs> it's Corbin FTO? I don't know. I was thinking about being an FTO, dude. I don't know, but that would mean I can't ride with Declan. You have a quota to do as FTL? I don't think so. Restrictions seem pretty loose. Hello, Robin. So I spoke to him, but he is uh, not willing to plead guilty to uh, to those charges, unfortunately. Okay, so wh uh, where's he at right now? Um, he thought about a bench trial, but he realizes that that would probably take longer than the time he'd serve. True. To uh, in his words, he's going to take it on the chin and maybe appeal later. Okay, sounds good. What would he be arguing, out of curiosity? <laughs> what he charges? says uh, the tampering with the vehicle. He thinks, he says uh, you can't prove that he tampered with it. Tells him that uh, constructive possession of a tampered vehicle with the, the tampering signs is uh, your line of uh, reasoning, I'd assume. And uh, I guess that's his, that's his contention, really. Sure. Uh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Alright, I'll go charge him. Thank you, Robin. Fuck all, sir. Alright, Mr. Galloway. Sup, Hawk? You give, it, give it to me, give it to me I'm straight, I'm gonna give Bondi. it to you hard, buddy. Give it to me hard. <laughs> hard and straight. One times joyriding, one times reckless evading, one times tampering with a vehicle, one times resisting arrest, one times possession of dirty money in the second degree, and one times felony obstruction of justice for 73 months in Bolingbrook A, $3,330 fine and three points on your license. That is exceptionally more uh, time than I was told earlier. Oh, right. No, I uh, yeah, I realized that uh, uh, you felony obstructed by picking up Rue and I didn't actually have it in the thingy. Yeah, if you guys want to talk about that real quick, uh, you can, and I'll walk away. <clears throat> okay. God damn it, Lenny. Sorry. XF, Insane Cyclone. Thanks for something. Getting sued? 